Hello, folks. All right, I get back the road trader. It's not going to work. It's We're not, not a road work. trader yet. No, I'm not natural. Back to say it. I know what I'm doing. Honest. Go off. Hey, hey. First, first I have to kill all these goofballs and yeehaws, and then I can take over the sh I mean, um... <laughs> get in line. <laughs> oh, believe me, I am. Here's this idea of called unforeseen consequences, and... I see the class that like what the fuck about this was unforeseen. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no, for me it was unforeseen, but I yeah. played. Okay, I played that's on you bro. though. The rest of us <laughs> saw this coming no, no. a mile away. I'm kind of with discard on this one. He didn't probably expect Bark to jump straight down his throat. Targrave well, on the and Targrave. No, it's no, like it's, black hubris. It, no, it was There's the fact no, that it, you know. No, I have to say this. It's it's a, it was understandable because I have no weapons that work with Thermonator armor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you could have done was get into it and say, if you want it, you can destroy it to get it. What? I could have, I mean, but then and then he can mean, never leave it again, and he doesn't have unremarkable. <laughs> that is a fair point. He doesn't have that great of an amount. Well, oh, that's entirely his problem. Yes, mutations are a fickle thing in there. Yes. Hey, no, Greg, yeah. could I potentially modify myself to be able to fit in that Terminator? Oh, Gordon <laughs> Bennett. Yes. Yes, and you could. Thus, of course you could. And thus, what? We, and then a sudden, uh, look, he's giving him a reason to throw a fucking plasma ball into this. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't worry. I've already taken a vow of not interfering with That's fair. Um, so... I, I don't screw with the Stardis fights, it's not good for my... And it's a great fair, way to get killed. Yeah. Great He's already ball. nearly died enough times. Was all right. I, I, I disagree with that. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. <laughs> He's still got no, more than 20 infamy. He sees up yeah. for another. No, he doesn't. He has one infamy or something, doesn't no, he? No, yeah, that's one 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 Sorry, sorry. I have <laughs> two, <laughs> two infamy. <laughs> He does literally become unable to communicate if he takes one more fellowship damage, but... Okay, so, so Pintus, what is this very coy thing you want to do? So basically, what I'm looking to acquire is... Well, first of all, I forgot about plus 20 bonus from the architect. I guess I must have just missed that while watching the video. Um, mm -hmm. So what I'm looking for is a Reaper Auto Yeah, yeah that's surprising. Really... Yeah. And... First of all, having crunched the numbers in the background while I was offline, if I was just looking for a single normal auto report, it gets 40. But then it's against 60 because I missed that architect. Mm -hmm. No, you still get the architect. Think, yeah, I, I, didn't, I must have missed that. So oh, you, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking, would you accept me handing over my normal auto cannon for a bonus? Because there's a, a rule in the book that says trading items to improve the infantry test requiring. Just... So, would you accept me handing over the normal auto cannon for a bonus on the attempts to get the Reaper auto? With the trade-off being that obviously if I fluff the roll, then I no longer have the auto. Well, you could like yeah. skin it as you know, you put it into a machine and maybe get a bit yeah. of an out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking because it's just an auto cannon from a Reaper auto cannon, and if I fluff the test, then I break. It's my thought. Yeah, you yeah, the the trying, trying to pull a pipe scrap. Make yeah. sure you set the machine to fine, not coarse. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm warrior, we only do. God. I never thought you would stoop that low, Taren. <laughs> <laughs> One pop culture reference every At a week. Time. Is that really pop culture? Is that where we yes. are now? It has a vi two oh, video mm -hmm. games. Oh, God. He's not wrong. Wait, what's the second one? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to mention it. I know that, oh. I've heard of at least five. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them are shit, too. Okay, yeah, so you're going to do your acquisition thingy? Yeah, well, that's why I want to run this past Grey before I actually roll, because it's the difference between... I'm prepared to, like, put the M34 auto cannon on the line for a bonus, but obviously because it's quite a sizable bonus, because it would push it from against 6 to against 8, I figured I wanted your sign-off. And you get a re-roll on it if you fail it. Mm. Yeah. I'd add a dog pretty good to that if it was me, but, you know, I don't play those odds. <laughs> it, well, here's the thing. It already comes with reliable as standard anyway, so there's no point going for a good one. And going for a best one is the height of hubris, because that is exactly the sort of roll where I roll a 96 and then a 97. Right, but well, putting like, a side on it gives you plus 10 to hit. I'm already BS8. I just don't need it. Okay. To be perfectly bluffed. 
I'm just saying, on a full auto, that's an extra extra bullet. It's not full auto. It's only seven automatic. Oh, yeah. All right. So, what's, are... so here Sorry. we go. I found that page. Yeah. Um, Trade Eagle, what's the. Um... The M34 auto cannon is very rare. All right. So, it would be essentially you get half, getting a, half that yeah. modifier back. So, I'd be getting plus two. So, it'd be going from against 60 to against 70, because I just realized it on my map. But... Yeah. Um, what's its craftsmanship? It's a normal craft. Normal. All right. Yeah. Um, and there's only one of it, so that doesn't Yeah, matter. that's zero. That's fine. Yeah, I say plus 10. Okay, cool. In which case, uh, rolling against 70. Good luck. Yeah. Flat 70? Yes. That's. I just like the yeah, idea of um, Zero 60. walking in through the entry with a <laughs> re repo auto kind of firing gate. Okay, guys, guess what I yeah. found? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, yep. right, so you it? weld random bits on, it's more like an orky piece of tech now than anything else. <laughs> hey, I at least had a perfectly uh, functional Imperial STC while doing this, I wasn't completely uh, yeah, it, yeah, I could go not, for it's not a slapping it together sort of thing, it's basically just replicated the autocannon and then stuck it on the one that was already. Oh, good, I forgot <laughs> this bug. <laughs> okay, had a I'm couple of extra magazines and some big pointy teeth. And yeah, Elzara, added, Elzara it, kicks on the door and points it at us, saying that she has you know, she takes the uh, power armor now. The well, actually, now. here's the funny, the funny thing. Funny story. It can be used with terminator armor. Yeah, that yes. was the other thing. I'm, I'm frankly using a better roll, to, uh, like this roll, quite something that actually can be used later. Um, like I said, but actually, Zero um, opens up from the stands, cuts us all down, takes the armor. Actually, no. Here's the thing. I am going to deliberately not be there because Gray, I have some rolls to make. Okay. Oh, like this that. is fucking ominous. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm I, I, I do think we're reaching the point in the campaign where you're all just going to murder each other and it's going to be fairly over fairly good. Yeah, this is body. Black Crusade. Yeah, no, as I said, the point in the campaign, as in this has been expected. <laughs> I am completely innocent in this, and no one will commit me otherwise. Well, technically, you started this. You started yeah. this. It's true. No, actually, this wasn't time. If anyone was innocent fault. in it, it isn't you. Everyone here is completely in control of their own actions. So everyone doing their, everyone what they're doing right now, is of their own free will. So yeah, I really rolled the thing, armor. Discard. The reason we're all here in control of our actions and doing whatever we're doing is because of you. But you look, there were did, two not, universes. did not have to do the thing you're doing right now. There was an op other option. You're chaos. The, the whole brotherly point of being chaos is doing the stuff you're not supposed to be doing. It's brotherly <laughs> and, like, like, you know, getting kind options rather than, you know, being other dicks. Right. Yeah, but this got, there, there yeah. are two hey, universes. Bart wasn't yeah. a dick. Challenged you got the Terminator armor. Right. Hey, you if, your if Discord here. And Barb just took the arm. If Barb just took the armor, and we could have just got on to the next you know, story segment, we would not have to be, you know, here worrying about having utterly killing each other over this. I mean, having watched we the could video, be just here, recently, not having fun. I would also point out to be fair, you kind of were the one who challenged him to that. Well, that's because he was going to take the armor anyway. Also, no, great. he just said, "Hey, please. maybe I could use that better than you," and you decided to fight him for. it. No, he was saying, this is my armor already, without even asking for it. No, I was yeah. saying... <laughs> I was yeah, saying, saying that it's the best person to use smaller. it should get it. I was op totally open to you no, convincing you not, me or you did not doing something. Like Gray, can you check your Discord PMs, please? I'm trying to be subtle about this, but you've missed me saying it five times. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, either he's missed you saying it, or he just hasn't responded yet. I was just doing some checks, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Gray is also easy. rolling dice. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it quietly, shush. Also, Everyone, I talk about I, I, I don't know why my son's taking my D10. I've got my D100, but my D10 seems to have wandered off. <laughs> wandered off? How has he stolen your dice? They're on the desk. Oh, my computer do you actually have a D100? Yeah, listen. Doesn't everyone? Yeah, I guess that's not that unusual. It's a D100. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's warped. It, I've got one that goes 10 to 90, and then I've got a D10 for the others. And I just can't find my D10. Because my bloody son has been playing with it again, and has not put it back where he found it. I love you mine, but it's a bit of a reach. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, no, I found it and buried it. You know, <laughs> I'd be with you the place where you put your foot down next without noticing. 
Okay. One D ten right there on your foot. Okay. D ten is not the worst dice to stand on. I prefer to a D eight to be honest. Can't work out. Well, look, do a do the roll in like um, Google and then screenshot and send it to Gray. I assume oh, we yeah. trust you. That's fair. I know a dice roller for that. It's his Oracles. Yeah, it's Oracles. Why didn't I think of that? Sorry, yeah. carry on. It's what? So Sorry, are we going to get on with roller? Bark and Targrave murder no. each other? No. This is the yeah. session's um, talking about whatever the hell the bench is just turn the dice tower on. Oh, yeah. That's so a thing. In, in oh, the bottom, yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? the bottom it? left, you got a dice tower. Huh. Dice yep, tower? I just threw it. All right. Can any we see that? I can. It whispers to GTA. To oh. GM by default, I think. That didn't work. It didn't no, work. the GM will have seen it. Well, you, you just I'm can't see it. it. That's the point. It's secret to the GM. Oh. Uh, oh okay, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. so we, we don't know if we failed or not, or didn't you. succeed or whatever. I've seen you. a lot we of just... dice being thrown, though. Yeah, we just see shadow dice being rolled. That, that, that's not disturbing at all. So how much damage do we take from the uh, the ship's reactor exploding? <laughs> As the Kenny would be like, well, holla, and they start finally ship reacting. <laughs> okay, um, right. Kenny's not here, man. We can get. Why is Bark's name in the combat tracker? Targets Bark, Bark. Like, how is <laughs> I have no idea. But I, I do afraid to change it. End of last session, and I never got an answer. Oh, right. The answer is fantasy grounds. Anyway, I think we've we just done targets, haven't we? And we're going back round to Bark again. We, well, no, I think we'd, we'd finished a round. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, so yeah. it's a new round of being targrave, and then. We have, we have equal initiative, so it's it's whoever the thing favors. I yes. will roll a d10. The game has decided it's me. Alright. That's, That's a d5. Uh, <laughs> I need to fix my labeling. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I'm. Well, it's pretty simple. I'm going to attempt to hit Bark with my power sword, with my force sword again. Um, okay, so aim. Aim and single shot both stack, right? Yep. As well as short range, don't forget that. Yes. Actually, you might be at point blank. That doesn't count for melee. No, it doesn't count. Oh, I, I missed the part where this was melee. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to drop it on Bark. Should yeah, just... it's not okay, doing that in, for these tokens. Go, go for over reason. in the combat tracker. See oh, where does Bark that work? is right there? Yeah, you just drag it and drag right, it over. I'm just going to delete these tokens, and then we'll see if we if I add them in. Okay, let's see if this work. works. Hey, it did. Okay, it hit. It hit so you can you can just drop it directly into the combat tracker. Yeah, okay, that's, that's good to know. <laughs> you failed to Art dodge. dodge. Shit. Yep. I don't have. I don't okay. actually have dodge trained. Berserker. Okay, weird, huh? so <laughs> now we do a opposed. So Aren't you test. frenzying in this? Well, wow, are you shooting? Oh, I'm not, not frenzied. I'm not shooting. I'm trying to write my weapon. It keeps making an error message every time I put a letter in. Okay. Yeah. So, so randomly uh, shooting off into the. Gym. You have to quit and rejoin <laughs> in order for it to stop doing that. God damn it! <laughs> I think. Loud, um. Okay. Loud, Bob, angry, angry noise is happening in the distance. Okay. Bob, That's a big do a, do a willpower test. We're doing an opposed willpower test to see how badly my force stuff messes you up. Really fucking badly. Well, he's dead. Holy shit! That's an extra. That's ten d ten. Holy fuck! <laughs> Actually, it's worse because I've got a natural willpower, so that's something like thirteen d ten. Okay, well, rejoin the so... biscuit. What happened? Okay, can, can I just <laughs> say I force test? You do what? Ooh. What's that? Can What's I just it? say I burn a fade point right now to just get flung completely in into the back wall? Um. Do you well? Lose let's the fight? let's see if you let's actually die from this, maybe. From ten d ten, with no well, armor. Thirteen d ten. How do I roll thirteen? There is a very uh, you have slim to... chance. Cut back. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Fucking, like, ten use the hot bar. If you, yeah, if you do ago. ten and then just right click twice more. Oh well. Note that goes through power. Uh, that goes through armor and toughness. 
Cut oh, back to warp. Yeah, it's a force. It's, it's a force. Weapon. Hit him with a force, force weapon. weapon. I didn't. I didn't realize force weapons had the warp quality. Oh yeah. Yep. That well, yeah, it's a. Yeah, they. It's better than warp actually because it, so it ignores all toughness bonus too. You see now, uh, to, uh, Carter, um, why, okay, why, never mind. Yeah, the you're reason why you want to be dead. a Starker is you can hit people with this dick harder. Well, it's a it's a nice bonus. I still don't like ending up in melee with stuff, but yeah, I I don't see why. And he thinks you'll be all right somehow. To be a hundred percent. Okay, so so that's a crit sixty. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bernard, right? Bob spent the, box spent the things. Wow. So he just, to the body. Just, just read off the what it is. Oh, penis. Wait, does he still does he does he still suffer the effects of the crit? No. Oh, he's he's already. Yes. If the crit said dead, he would be dead. Did he? Well, sure. That didn't well, no, but he he spent the fate point, or well, he burnt the fate point rather. He goes down ten throughout the game for me. Yeah, I was just yelling somewhere. Okay, so actually that means roll 1d10, uh, Bart. But does he still suffer the other effects? You've lost 13 infamy. Ooh. Whoa, that was damn. a low roll. Wait, in How addition to burning? Uh, uh, you lose yeah, you what, uh, 10 to burn the point and then yeah, 75. It's 10, 10 oh. to burn the point. Essentially, you just lose it because you lose 10 infamy. <laughs> and then another d10 on top of How that. does corn and corn and uh, Zinch hates corn, right? Yeah, no. but yeah. last time they're, they're I believe Targrave not... gets some points for that. Well, that's up to Grave. Yeah. No, uh, Zinch no. Zinchins get stuff for beating Nurglice. Oh, Nerd it's Nurgle specific. Okay. Yeah, corn hates oh, there it is. So. <laughs> well, it's also corn and Zinch are yep. opposed to. Yeah, but the they're opposed. Yeah, but, but there's no specifically for killing someone who's opposed. Okay, well, yeah, they're opposed it's but not, not listed for her. anyone else. Right. Oh, so, well. oh, and um, uh, you also take some corruption. I'm gonna uh, yep. go look that up. Hmm. And if it's a mutation, Sorry, um... you get it as a failing. Oh, yeah. If it's a mutation, it's a failing, which means you don't get to modify it by your infamy bonus or re-roll it. Let's see. Being hey. defeated in a one-on-one -on -one duel in close combat means you gain a corruption point for being uh, corn-aligned. Isn't it just a general D5 as well? Uh, D5 or a D10. D5 or, yeah. yeah, it's a D5 or a D10. I can't remember what. Where's the failure section? Price of failure. Uh, I'm looking at page 290. Yeah. Be defeated by a great hero of the Imperium, D5, which, which is. I would not call him a great hero of the Imperium. <laughs> um, like, just... Hang on. Um, I know it's something. Hey guys, oh, it, it, Why are you? Guys, you I found a titan! It, 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 it's your choice, Ray. 1d5 or 1d10? That's not a titan. That's a drop... Sh that's a... Uh, that's an assault shuttle. It belongs to me now. <laughs> Can you defend the assault shuttle? I'll let you ride in it. That's not a yes. If you have pilot, go ahead. I can defend... Wait, yes, I have pilot. Late. Anyway, yeah, Gray, it, it's your choice how much. I you think it's E5, I think. Sounds about right. It, this is a humiliation, so. Yeah, I suppose it is, to be honest. Lucky bastard. Yeah, All right, two points of corruption is not bad. Well, Have I was you, supposed uh, to start with more, so I'm up to 36 now, actually. Yeah. That's Does still that not a threshold. Threshold. Does that mean no, you mutate well. then? No. I think you only mutate to 50 again, or 40? Uh, Traitor Legionnaires at 10, 30, 60, and 90. So yes, Yeah, I passed yeah, 30, so... Yeah, because he was he was a lot too low because of the experience. Uh, but not because recounting. of the failing. Yeah, not, not because yeah. of the failing. Uh -oh. so, so you don't have that. You can make a test. You can do the Gift of the Gods test to try and get a special mm, board. Yes, so we'll say you yeah. mutated before you failed, so you don't mm. have to worry about the you, failure. You mutated as the shot was coming in to hit you. 
<laughs> Some sort of like adaptive um, okay, so, mutation. Yeah. <laughs> for the for the rewards, just do a flat infamy test. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's a flat infamy test. If you succeed, you get something off the table. If not, you do the normal reward. Well, that's a failure. Okay, so 24. 24. Oh, and uh, you can modify the result by your infamy bonus because this isn't a failing base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is not three. Okay, 24 is Chaos Organ. How much do you go up to? Three. So it's Chaos Organ, Cyclops, or Burning... Body or boneless? Um, so boneless, burning body, chaos organ. Or boneless cycle. is a bad what idea. What page is that on? Uh, Bark that chart is two uh, nine one. Bark yeah. the boneless. Yeah, boneless, the boneless is isn't great. Yeah. Cost strength gives less agility. Uh, Way body, less agility. I don't agility. think it's super great either because it means you basically can't use your armor, which is Imperial. amusing. Imperial flame. Some bodies unaffected other tomorrows. No, it's really cool for the boxing match, though. may damage his surroundings, betray his presence, and the like, as determined by the GM. Anyone yeah. landing a blow on him with their bare hands or attempting to grapple oh, okay. must pass a agility test or take 1d10 energy damage. Doesn't say anything about armor. No, yeah. Oh, I'm, I, may have just, I may have thought about some other thing. I think you have. I mean, I do like the optimistic, in addition, the character always has a light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. 2d10. Energy damage yeah, but, when you're grappling. Yeah, but, and but you, you can't, can't hide. hide. Which is well, uh, okay. He's a corn berserker. It wasn't going to change much. <laughs> I'm looking um, at the other ones. Organ. Chaos organ. Chaos furious organ. assault. No, because he's. Oh yes, he's corn eight declared. Yes, you get furious assault. Um, as well as as what and a natural characteristic or natural weapon or heightened senses. Um, mm. no, I already have various assaults, so... Ah, okay. Uh, then Cyclops is the other one, which is... Cyclops is You get Conspiracy good, Theorist Disorder, and you lose a yeah, D5 of he... Perception. So, yeah, that's yeah it's basically, that, that's just a flat bad one. Yeah. So, Plus, yep. you're not even seen, Gene. Yeah. It's I mean, easy. so, Chaos Organ's okay, because at least you get, like, a natural characteristic out of it if you want. No, oh. I'm gonna go with uh, Burning Body. I mean, to be yeah, fair, it's... that's the other entirely valid choice. Okay, that one is pretty so, cool. so, so let me get this straight. As the as the swing is coming in to lop your head off, you just ignite in flames and then get flung across the room instead of having your head separate from your shoulders. And now Targrave is insanely jealous. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should have let him keep the armor. Yeah, so, who, so who really won? <laughs> you did. You don't have a... we're, we're waiting for the next challenger. Yeah, is there going to be another challenge? I am. I'm just smoking right over here, just sitting there, like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna briefly step out from behind the curtain here and point out that the character sheet has eaten and deleted my Reaper auto cannon three times. <laughs> so I'm sick and fucking tired of trying to write it. Um, do you, you have, have another gun that. you could overwrite with it? Yeah. No. Well. Okay. Wait. So wait. 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 Is it? 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 Is it deleting it, or is it just moving it around with the second you put it? No, you put it's it deleting it, and it won't actually let me put half the combat. But you've got too many guns, possibly. That I concede is entirely possible. <laughs> I've got four. How, How many guns, guns do you have? have? Too many. Three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think you. And, yeah. Okay. That's I after we put the thirty-four auto cannon was taken off. Can I just point out? I used to have a left. Yeah, okay, yeah, so you just overwrite one of your happy. other guns with the uh, the auto cannon. Oh, how like, how um, likely are you to use the bolt pistol? More than I am the bolter. Yeah, because the bolter. bolt pistol yeah. I could use in melee. Can I borrow your bolt pistol? Yeah. Can I borrow your bolt pistol? No. 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 Okay. Do you want to lose more okay. infamy? Oh, oh is yeah. Anybody uh, actually, is anybody actually going to cause more nonsense? Hey. Okay, hey, I'm yes. not going to cause more nonsense in the sense of the fact I'm weighing into the fight. But frankly, I'd like to think Zara shows up as Bart gets flung into the box. Hey, yeah, yeah, so like... can you can you knock? Can you undo my bolt pistol for me? Yeah, hang on. Okay, uh, so okay. I. Oh, that's against fifteen. So, so I see so you've been now, busy. I am things. the final. It's a bit. Okay, thank you. So I am the for now the final recipient of the Terminator armor, correct? Yes. Until I someone to put it on and to... never take it off. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Uh, after a little while, you won't be able to take it off anyway. Yeah. I hope you enjoy yeah, Deadly Poison. 
What? Would you like me to <laughs> weld you into it, just to be absolutely <laughs> sure? Hold on, has somebody I've done been... something? I haven't. I've not. I haven't been here. However, Zara has been uh, absent for quite a while. On the other hand, I physically have no weapon tech skills, so it's not like I could have done it. How, but it. how would we know that? You just put some contact okay, poison but, in the shoes. That's, that's all. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the thing on anyway. Have yeah. you actually done something to it? No, I legitimately haven't. I, I think Aaron really Ray's haven't just saying it. that. Actually, I have no idea. I think Ray is saying yeah, like, that you might you're being so arm. damn cryptic. I didn't mean, it yes, have, like, uh, have you actually? Didn't it have a mutation? Have you, have you actually? Thing? I mean, have you actually done anything to the armor or not? Because I'm putting it on one way or the other, but like, if you've done something to it, now is the time to say it because I'm putting it on. No. Discard. What were the what were the uh, the abilities you chose for that armor when you acquired it? Um, uh, recoil compensator, oh, okay. the um, osmotic the, gill, I think, and the and power the, suit, wasn't it? The one that gives you the battery too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what, so you never have to take it off. Recoil. Cool. What, and what, what was the random one? I think it was Remnants of Mutation, but I don't know. Yeah, that no, was... It was mm, no, that well, was Scavenge Reconstruction. I, my old armor has Remnants of Mutation, but that's Right, right, Scavenge. Cool. Right. Alright. So, you get it out of your system. You've had a nice, you know, punch of each other. Or for now. healthy. For now. We had a slap fight over Power Armor, over Terminator Power Armor. Oh, I'm I sure some it. bad blood has formed. I lost that <laughs> because... Of being too good acquisition. I mean, there was bad blood in the first place. Yeah, I mean that was apparent when we went full feral world. We didn't go full feral world. You got damn close. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm just Bark still owes me an, I, I, and Bark still owes me a knife. How do I mark down the plus thirty strength without messing up my character sheet? You just uh, upgrade your you... strength by thirty. That's actually a fair way of doing it. You could just put thirty yeah. on your. Just remember yeah, that your unnatural doesn't count toward it. Or, it doesn't count toward your un Oh, I know. Unnatural doesn't work like that anymore. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't matter. Just remember to lose it if your armor suddenly loses power for no apparent reason. Okay. okay Speaking of which, hey, can now. I dig around back there for a minute? I need to get some plasma canister. Uh, maybe later? Also, how does this work with... Unremarkable? Or does it just not work with Unremarkable? It works anymore? with Unremarkable because well, it's not... Or actually, you have the mutation Unremarkable. That's what yes. I was going to say. It works with the better version. It definitely won't work with the normal version. If, if you've yeah, got so... the mutation <laughs> version, then yeah, it, it works perfectly fine. Uh, adequately, at least. Okay. So I also lose... Okay, I'm also going to mark my agility as being lower the same way. Oh yeah, uh, you're never dodging again. Yeah, it's that's not. I don't. I didn't, didn't really dodge. It's <laughs> um, in the first place. Does no, precognitive dodge still work? Because that's not. A, that's not actually dodge. Yeah. That's actually that probably a really would work, good yes, because yeah. it's a psychic thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, the in theory, I'm stepping out of the way before it happens. Okay, well, we'll cross that bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am now in the Terminator armor. Who has put horrible poison into it? Me. Aw. You have now been getting exactly covered in You are yes. getting covered with liquid metal. You didn't Robot hose the previous out. owner out in, in, in time. <laughs> oh, no, God. What are you talking about? Its previous two owners never got in it. <laughs> it's true. Um, yes, I, think I will concede that point. Very lightly used. <laughs> they only yeah, wore it on that's... Sunday, and they haven't had it a full week yet. Uh, what did you say you took? It was the recoil compensator, something else, and... I don't think the recoil compensator me, uh, was, would have worked for this one, because that one only works on, like, newer basic weapons, and I don't know if that would mean the... No. Well, Ooh, I don't know if you want to... Oh, that's so good. You were sawing wood Terran. and something that's going to get us kicked off of you. Terran! Terran! Oh, we can hear you sawing wood. Sorry. 
<laughs> what the <laughs> hell? You... I mean, he cooks and stuff while we're doing the session normally anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this group for what, three or four years now or more. I've never ever had wood carving. Uh, you, you, were in, <laughs> you were in the uh, Road Trader game, weren't you, Sir Ben? Yes, I was. That was uh... eight years ago. Oh, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> but again, I've never had it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, at, great. At Does that yourself, mean like... I, I did the first time? Then I had to say something. It... If recall compensation just won't work with Terminator Power Armor, can I pick something else, or does it just have that? No, or does it or does it work with? Uh, would that there mean are, you can use two different Terminator weapons in both hands? There are basic weapons for Terminator armor. The Compi Bolter. Are there? Okay, well yeah. then I have that. It doesn't matter because I've got a I've got a heavy flamer in one arm and four sword in the other. So well, yeah, you don't I, really need anything else. Unfortunately, I, I have to assume like, that at some point that you basically just have to saw the the arm off to fit your your um, four sword in. Nope. The flamer. Like, the flamer, yeah. So, the, so the arm off. The, not your arm. The arm off the. Um... Well, I, I assume that the stuff like clips together so that that would work or something. Well, you're still going to tech use test. Modify you can use to the keep body. Through. Yeah, I mean, how about we have F16 make a tech use? Try and make it possible to yeah. like have a projecting port in the hand. Actually, actually make a skill roll. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it does seem reasonable. Sure. Hey, Gray, sure. how much you want yeah. to knock me back on this one? Because I would, yeah. Hmm. At That's this point, hard. I'm basically begging you to give me negatives because because you want to fail and make it so I can't use the armor. I want something interesting to happen when yeah, I make a tech. Well, this is architect, so yeah, That's you've, true, never, you've never come across anything like this before in your life. Negative sixty. No, probably about negative forty. You give me negative sixties all the time, sir. Okay, that's a yes, that's you then. Yes, you're trying to charm battleships. Oh my god! Holy cow! He actually failed. Well, yes. um, and yes. here's the thing: if it was any less than negative forty, I would have passed it. <laughs> but it's only uh -huh. a single failure, so yes. It is literally one point below my natural okay. starting. Deck. He wasn't. He wasn't able to uh, modify it. So you. You will currently, for the time being, have to go out. We'll go. Go by without one arm. That's so the arm's sense. off. So you don't have armor on that arm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the choice, really. I guess. Do you want to have your flamethrower and not be Terminator armed on that arm, or do you want the Terminator armor on that arm and not your flame? I, is that fair, Gray? Is that? A... Yep, that's what I'm thinking oh. myself. I'm not sure how. I mean, okay, I can't. How does like having the armor there, but not the like? Wait, does that mean I can have no? That means but how did that work the... with my normal power? How did that work with my normal sort of? We, we never that modified was adapted. normal armor for. You had, you had a yeah, that was adapted. Did you have, you have the flamer arm when you started the campaign? Yes. You okay, the but what about we've been assumed to have already been modified for you? And when everybody in, and when anybody ever mutated. We make. Mm, we make. I don't true. think any of us ever mutated that severely after after character creation. Well, we had that guy with wings, but I think he fell down a pit. He was in the mm -hmm. space marine. Oh he right, was, right. Actually, he was just he a was. bit. He was. He was a space oh, marine. Oh, oh, marine. In fact, right. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. The noise marine. I, I thought you were talking about Thorn. I do not charm the battleship. <laughs> he sounds sad about that. Please stop telling the sun it's night time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are things this card has done in this campaign. He's attempting to charm a battleship, apparently. I lied to the gravity, the force of gravity, to tell it it's already pulled me down so it can stop. Um, yeah, I think that's again. a good point, though. We have we never had to modify before, so... I'll let you get away with that one. I mean, on the other hand, this is Terminator armor. It is just but straight as up a better. compromise. I'd be willing to have it that I only have the normal power armor armor on my arm, whichever arm it is. Yeah. That oh yeah, Terminator arm. armor can interface with the systems from regular power armor. So I would have eight arm only eight armor on one of my sort of things, which you know is is a I think a fair compromise. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, so it's on my left arm, I think. I don't fucking know which arm it is with this stuff. 
I don't know, but you probably don't want to miss, get the wrong one when you're wiping your ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, He's a space marine. He no longer has to do that. That's yeah, his armor sort of takes care of that for him. And the armor, yes. No, oh, that point. Space marines do, in fact, shit. Yes, but we, we're, we're chaos space marines. We have serfs. Surf. It's true. Well, serfs is a loyalist thing. We have slaves who aren't dead yet. Oh, right, yes. right. We have ratings. Crew. Victims. Let's be honest, we are Chaos Space Marines. Victims is appropriate. Expendables. Wait, can somebody, can somebody please check how much total earned XP we've got? A lot. Didn't we go over this well, before we started? I yeah. Yes, I think, but because I didn't spend last session, I think I fucked up. Oh, actually, speaking of, I should put my new psychic power in there. You have a psychic power? Yeah, I'm yes, a psycho now. Got it from mutation. It was funny. Oh, he's a you got it from he's definitely a hair attack. I, I got it from uh, just having enough advances. I'm marked of seen. Mm -hmm. Horse, yes, you've got enough to get the mark because you're psycho. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot that was a thing. To be fair, it's not like it comes up often. Well, yeah, this is correct. So how much XP are we at, actually? Because honestly, I could do a checking this on here last. Well, I don't know if we had 4,250 or 4,500. That's my issue. I believe it's 4,500 earned. Okay, cool. Can somebody else verify? I should really keep track at some point. You should probably keep track. <laughs> yeah, I just can't well, trust we can, you guys. We can again, how many sessions have we had? Multiply that by 250. Yeah, that's actually a really sensible way of doing it. One minute. I've got the YouTube tab open. If you're listening at home still, folks, this is what happens when you need to organize things. Um, this is organize? what happens when all of the organization is assumed to happen away from the table, but no one actually does. We've, this is <laughs> session 18 we're in currently. Okay, so 18 times 250. No, 17 no, times. 17 times 250. Okay. Mm then it would be 4250, okay. Yeah. Okay, that means... Okay, then I sort of screwed up slightly, but not too badly. Okay. Can we put the number in I, chat for uh, future reference? Yeah, probably pin it. Well, it doesn't... It doesn't. There's no point. Right, it'll this, this later. This is why I, I said, I like, I like Rain, to go ahead and anything. add it to our, like, yeah. uh, tracker yeah, the, sheet. Like, in... Oh, yeah, that's an idea. There we go. What was it? We said 1750? 40, 40, 40, 40, 50. 40, 50. 4, 0, 0, 5, 0. Okay, it's now in two different places. 4250, yeah. Gray. Alright, we'll, we'll use yours. <laughs> I'll just type random numbers and you can have that much experience. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay, as long as you press five numbers, that's a game. Yeah, there we go. Yes, Game's okay. over. That much experience, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is a character building session. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded fun. Painful. But I, I have a metal desk, and I just it clipped just a little bit against it when I was trying to turn the light on. But because it's, it's a hollow metal desk, it sounds like the end of the world. Yeah, it <laughs> does. Oh, it's, it's the not the end. actual oh, end. Oh, okay. The table knows it. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. So I am. Death. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing next? After this escapade, what are we doing next? Presumably the fallout of whatever those rolls earlier were for. Hmm, nothing. That's fine. I, uh, I was going to say, Zarya doing Zarya things. I don't even remember what the next compact is true for me. Yeah. Basically, you, you're off to another objective, I guess. Uh, you always choose a captain. Um, we just, we, we just fought each other. Great, let's do that one later. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, restock the crew losses seems like a good one. Yeah, that's something I've okay. been telling y'all we should do for a while now. Alright, 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 so alright. So, we, so we, know over over we know it completely because FC18 is being annoying about it. So, real quick. Gray, what is the... Can we... Can I do... Can, what what uh, scale would it be to check how things are going on the outside... What the currency of the world is after our, uh, after our small break? I'm pretty sure they use Throne Gelt just like the rest of the Imperium. Yeah. I think he means current state, not currency. Ah, but he uh, wears it poorly, so. 
We've only been gone five minutes. Yes. The exchange rate of local <laughs> planet. To it, it's been like three sessions, but you've, you were t like two, three hours in the base of the thing. Tops. Okay, so nothing yeah. new has happened. No. Okay, so we can either. Okay, these aren't. Okay, so yeah. Restock the ship losses, free the ship from the ground, repair the prow guns, test the speakers, or corrupt the planet stuff. You know what we could do? Go Figure on. out where all of those Iron Men were being built. And then, um, repurpose that? We were there, though. We know where they were being built. I think he's talking about repurposing to restock the crew. He wants to huh. deal with robots. We'd have to take I mean, over the I only then. blew up one console. It's not like I completely destroyed all of the infrastructure. That, that it is imperial had... technology. That console had mm. this STC uh, for, thing for the Iron Man. None more can be made! We can repurpose the machinery to make servitors. We know how those work. So what, uh, just feed random people in, get a servitor out the other end? Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, Roughly that, the way it works normally, so... I mean, it would also be a lot safer than relying upon Iron Man as our crew. I would also observe from security. A lot mm -hmm. safer. I, I am definitely against in, uh, incorporating uh, abominable intelligences to our crew. Yeah, I'm, I'm seconding that. I'm seconding it. There's nothing that's... Uh, yeah, and there's there's nothing that says you any sense of adventure. Look, I, I'm going to allow you to have one, but I'm not having any more than that. Just think have of the one as a minion. I can't take minions. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, like he's going to be able to take minions with his fellow. I, I just had <laughs> This is the second time I've forgotten. Yeah. Um... um I could always try writing my memoirs. That's, that's, that's when you're doing your own time. Get off the planet. Wait, what you haven't been doing that all along? Yeah, basically. You want to what, corrupt if you're a genuine question, what is your obsession with writing your character's memoir? Because he wants to write a book better he wants to write a book that more popular than the uh than the Tacticus Imperialis. <laughs> and you understand we would destroy those memoirs again, right? I, I don't mean this character, but I mean in general, like... He? Oh yeah, there was that whole yellow Cal guy. Calculon wanted to write his memoir because Calculon was a vain bastard. <laughs> and he, wanted, he, so. wanted, he, wanted, actually, he wanted a record of what actually happened to, uh, to Hammer Team, with Hammer Team. Oh god, no, not that in the 40k setting. The Imperium will be doomed. And the, and that was uh and that was just one of the things just to have just to like cause her pen just to lose air because of, of stress because of that. Oh yeah, like I to borrow darkest dungeon terminology, I was at like plus sixty stress by the end of that. <laughs> and I can't even imagine how much stress Grey was in. For what? Um, oh that campaign. Yeah. Um but <laughs> um so yeah, you were trying to play like a semi-serious character, weren't you? Yes, because that was the Sorry. first character I played in about four years with this group, and I probably was about enough time for me to forget. Yeah, that was entirely your own mistake. Yeah, I think no. Calculon was a perfectly serious character. Oh fuck no. off! <laughs> Look, I was that, playing no. a great, I was playing a crazy droid, and I was there's your there's your minus sixty droid. deceive check discard. Yeah, get off that. Look. <laughs> yeah, look, you may have been trying to play a serious character, but Calculon was not a serious character. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear. Hey, totally. Sorry, that made me laugh. Shouldn't have been. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> you failed. Everyone Five degrees of lying. failure. <laughs> we not only do we know you're lying, we know you're lying badly. Alright. You know do we want to like, do this? Wait, is, is, the drug, is a drug run no longer a thing anymore? Well, that was what's his name? Thing. That was Thorn. Um, I got drugs. So we don't. And we, we looted his quarters, and turns out there was a drug lab there. So technically, it's complete. Okay. It's true. It's true. Um, you want to corrupt some law enforcement? <laughs> yes. I, I, still, I still, still like the idea of making the servitor machine. I, I mean, like that too. I actually have to admit, as long as it's specifically servitors rather than AI, I can't deny that a whole battery of servitors on board would solve the crew issue. And they'd be far more. Yeah, like, where would we get the raw material for the servitors, though? Our Random legion people. of adoring fans. All six. Yeah, exactly. 
That's the thing. Well, we need to, didn't we, you we say that like the planet was only going slightly No, no, crazy yeah, there's, there's a lot of people that like your, your music. We apparently. have a legion of adoring fans. Or we actually, have, we, we have, should we should get them from the legion who isn't our adoring fans. We have uh, the hit single, which is uh, an all, which is you know capitalized by each letter. The hit single in italic mark. Yes. Uh, like, I how many that. people are we talking? We need to restock the crew here. Is it like a few hundred or a few thousand? A few thousand. Or? Thousands. Yeah. Okay, so we realistically can't hold like a concert and just feed the people in the concert into a machine. Yes. Have you not been to concerts? You could easily if you yeah. could if you could kidnap Actually, an no. entire concert, that would do the job. Well, kidnapping an entire concert to is gonna be quite an impressive job. Most of the band died a while back. Yeah, but we saw it. Well, we got a new something or other in Look, Bach. We, we clearly you know what we need to do we need to do I'm well, surely by now we need to do an interview because it must be like talent. There must be uh, like midnight punditry shows that want to hear about this hit new sound that they have not stopped playing in the background. Well, we we could try to set up a new concert as part of that. You know, I like still, our own. I still concert. say that servitors are the way to get. No, but that's what we're doing. We need to, okay, so we it, it, this is a two part thing. That. We need to do the concert to get the raw materials, but we need to get the machine to make the servitors because we're going to use the people at the concert to make them servitors. Can we just like get to the point? Couldn't we just get to the point where people are so ravishly crazed that they'll just take, they will do anything for us, and we can just have them hunt down people who resist what our exactly music? What exactly do you have against servitors? No, no, he wants to use unloyalists as servitors. Yes, not loyal people, unloyal people. You know, we. Okay, we but how do you how do you propose we round up a lot of those? By getting yeah, people, by getting people our, to do it. getting our, our our legions of slavering fans to you know. Take their ire out on people who do not embrace the music. Yeah, but that doesn't end up with them feeding them into a machine to make servers. That ends up with dead people. They, they capture them, and then we can feed them into a thing later. You know, but we need thousands of people. Yes, you know, we're it's like gonna, we, can, of... we can round up a couple thousand people. We just call them the squares. But we can do it a lot more easily by just making a concert and feeding people into it. We've got a whole planet little... to draw from. <sighs> You know, it would be a lot easier if we corrupted law enforcement, because then they could just take, uh, start arresting folks who don't like our music. Yeah, that's what's going to corrupt law enforcement. Fair too. Yeah, okay, that works too. Like, we could, we're, 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 we're talking about the order of operations here, over, like, whether we're not, we do, are or are not going to do something. Okay, mm -hmm. no, fair enough. I mean, okay, not well. to mention the fact that I'm sure someone is looking at us suspiciously, and it would be really great if we had the, those people on our side. Yeah, the problem is it's probably like an inquisitor with a oh, cyclone still, torpedo. Do we still have the? Do we still have that like uh, that black site that uh, we we lied to again once time before? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you mean the thing in space? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's actually, not thousands had, of people. That's not. When was the last time that people looked? Do you want All the ships arrive. We could use it as a holding facility. How much capacity does it have? Oh yeah. I mean, it's got some prism cells. I don't know I mean, how many. What we would need to do first is go up there and then have, our, have them play our hit single over the over the stair over the uh, speakerphones. Well, we can just do that. Didn't you? Didn't somebody corrupt like the second in charge, or just say the second in charge was their lackey or something? Yeah, we yes. killed the captain and then converted the second. Remember? Yeah, so it's like that. That part's easy. We just needed like if it can hold enough people, we can just like get law enforcement to say, "Oh, hey, look, psychos." Then feed them up to the black ship where they get held until we have the machine to make them into services. Sounds good to me. But yeah, we need law enforcement then. So how would we go about corrupting law enforcement? We a... we post a policeman's ball. <laughs> that's a good well, plan. That's a very local amount of law enforcement. I'm talking like all of law law enforcement. Yeah, you but, can't corrupt, but we you can't corrupt all of law enforcement to begin with. Well, you can't well, you that... can't get them all at once. Well, we could get True. there. We could get to, like the head part of law enforcement. Yeah, the problem is the head part of law enforcement is is like a senior arbite, you know. So like here's the, what we could do. Here's what we could do. We can find out who the head of law enforcement is, get a picture of them, flesh sculpt somebody to look like him, and induct them to be that person, and then replace him by killing the the actual person. We could do that. That's that is valid. Hmm. Actually, we we should find see if there's like somebody very senior there anyway who is very ambitious, or or is uh, or susceptible to the music. 
one or the other, and then we don't even have to flesh sculpt them. We can just say, hey, we can help you take out this guy, you know, and give you other benefits. You you do things that we want. Where is um? So what would that be like? What what skill would that be, Gray? Do I mean we do have a person with Peer Imperium, don't we? Planetary God, planetary defense force. Yeah. Uh, so you, Tara, can you roll that? Well, it's a gray. It know. modifies my fellowship also... tests. Yes. Yeah, we could speak to what's her name too, Madam Whatever. She should know like who's in command of the Arbites and stuff, probably. Yeah, uh, that should You've be easy enough to be fair. Yeah, like who's in command of the Arbites and who is perhaps corruptible, if not already corrupt, and we just need to like give them a slight chaos base. Nudge. There's a difference chaos between base. corrupt and corrupt, if you know what. Yeah, but that's what I mean. We turn them from from your garden variety corrupt to our sort of corrupt. Or, quite frankly, just move them from or- from just you know perfectly law-abiding citizen to I... ordinary corrupt, which would be significantly less Where... obvious to track back to us. I have a I have a question. Who's the planetary governor of this world? Oh, one second. I swear we've run into him before. You've not run into the governor yet. No, not the governor. Um, I expect terrible things would have happened to us if we had. Oh, actually, this is in my second, uh, in a different sheet. Ooh, he's got so have two sheet. secret sheets for this. This is like a question we should have asked lo- a long time ago. It, it has been important. And also, what is the chance that he is a gene stealer, or at least part of a gene stealer cult? <laughs> Gene Stealer, Orc, Secret Necron. Squat, while we're about it. (laughs) (laughs) Squats aren't real. That's what they want you to think. Hang on, let me roll Veteran of the Long War. I still want to play Squat (laughs) Fortress. Squat Fortress. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody had made it. We dug too deep, but not too greedily. Uh, Squats are not real. Now you see, you're using long war. What you should be using is... I never ran into any in the fighting. Hmm. I don't remember any oh, pirate. pirate squad. Governor Jarrah. Uh, what you should be, us- you should be using is Jarrah. mutants. Yeah. Or maybe... Hmm. There's a xenology one somewhere. I'm gonna roll. Uh, I don't have roll, lab I'm, humans. I'm gonna roll my uh, my my special ability to see if if I know anybody in the. Uh, does Governor Jarrell have like a chambermaid or something that has a tattoo? But are we trying to corrupt like the no. or Are we trying to corrupt the planetary governor? Because one is still above the other. Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, we, we are. Can... To well, which? We need... Well, we well okay. No, I don't do not know anybody for in that. Nobody's on my Rolodex. Why are you using perception? Because it's a oh, because it's a scrutiny. Scru- yeah, it's a scrutiny test. Okay, it'll be fellowship, but well, it's scrutiny, or, scrutiny or like security, but I can never get the which one they were. Because it makes sense it was a security test. So Governor Jaro, you say? Jareth. 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 It- yeah. Is there any? Is there any like inf- more information we can learn about is him? Is he contact Jockle? Hmm? Sorry, that was Taren. Does Does he contact Juggle, This Jareth? You don't know. Okay. Who are we? I mean, I'm asking this to the group. Who are we going for? The head Arbite or the governor? I'm for the Arbite. I'm for the Arbite. I just wanted. To, I'm just wanting to know some of some level of the uh, the local, the, basically some level of the local power structure here. To make it a little bit more easier to, like you know, navigate. It's pretty standard imperial um, setup. Yeah. So they got so the governor. Standard. Do we know anybody that that would know somebody highly placed in the planetary arbites that is a very ambitious, b corrupt, or corruptible, or corruptible, 
one or the other. Or do they have corruptible children? The problem with the children angle is is that if yeah, I don't know, I think that's that works as well. Blackmail doesn't work as well if it's aimed at the kid. Blackmail, than, we're, oh, we're going to use blackmail. We're just going to get their kid, like, you know, hooked We weren't using blackmail. We were using ambition. Maybe you somebody was a, a very sick A lot more, kid. like, um, looking around, to be honest. All right. Here's an idea. Why don't we take this Arbite, drag him back to the factory, and turn him into a servitor? Because that's very what? obviously unnoticeable. Also, we then only have one servitor. We need thousands. Hmm. Like, I'm not against the general principle, but in this case, I don't see the what the end goal is. Converting them would be better rather than the bottomizing service. Otherwise, I'll just bring someone else, and they'll be aware that we're targeting their commands. Yeah. Eric, saying that, I'm not against turning on structure either. So, if I might offer a yeah. third alternative. If we're not mm -hmm. sure about the governor or the arbites, there's got to be a PDF kernel somewhere. Particularly after the casualties they suffered recently, mm. they'll have a turnover of staff. If we convert the new man, we've got a lot of men. What casualties they suffered recently? Uh, out of character, we did blow up that major radar base of theirs a few sessions ago. It's true. That was a yeah. death. That was a dead dog rising. <laughs> that was just like no, that was the prison. Pain too. No, that was. Oh, the... this is... It must have been a session that I missed. No, we blame we blame the, the the radar attack on the dead dog uprising. But yeah, they have taken quite. A... That wasn't heavy losses planned to Israel, but their their morale has definitely taken a hit. All right. Well, let's just go. Let's go look for the next imperial. Let's go ahead at the next imperial thing. Where's the? Where would a local uh, imperial general be at? Um, what? Gen Imperial General, not... Oh, oh actually, hey, Greg, yeah. have yeah. they rotated their code books yet? Because we still have that, we could f use oh, that yeah. to figure out yeah, where the they guy is. they probably have... Well, they're probably in the thing, but, you know, you could probably have a check to see if they have. Cause they, I'm pretty sure you know, our space base would be getting the updated code books anyways, at least some of good them. Good points, yes. Yeah. So we can get some of the stuff from them, and the rest we can probably bullshit our way through. I mean, to be fair, we've got a couple of shadows now, so at this point I'm glad to believe that. But yeah, no, I, I can say you still have the codes from your, your space base, because of course the, um, you expect the black ship site to have all the up-to-date codes. That's only sensible to expect. Yeah, well, probably. Um, but yeah, so, what you don't think you're looking for? I think we're trying to pick apart who would be in charge of the PDF on the planet in order to treat them as a third option turning. So, trying to just work out actually who is PDF Colonel or whatever they call it. Hmm, PDF. The problem is we need somebody with the power to, like, arrest people. Which is why, like, the prisons also... Nobody cares that much what happens to prisoners. Yeah, normally. you're probably best off with the Arbite yeah, commander yeah. for that. I mean, I, my point about the PDF is just that they're also the guys with the chimeras and the gun. Um, it's true, like, we could instead try to corrupt the PDF and have them crew our ship. That works for me. I mean, that, that skips the servitor step, but, you know, corrupting PDF is always great. Oh, yeah. Well, that might be easier then, actually. Not to mention, it's got practical benefits of it. If anything does go wrong, we have to go loud. We'll have the PDF on the side. Well, some of it, at least. Oh, like yeah. Maybe enough to like, like turn a battle or something. Yeah. Uh, I think that I think in, you know Terran is you know plays pretty central here. Terran, I mean, I do have a couple of friends over there. We're going to go corrupt the PDF. About dang time. <laughs> uh, 
give us so, yeah, got, for the for the music to work on the popular. Pierre. You've got Pierre um PDM, yeah. right? Yep, plus ten on all my rolls. Would would he be able to use that to try to figure out again a corruptible colonel general or whatever? Probably. For the PDF, probably, yeah. I'm guessing that would probably not be an awareness test. Probably not. <laughs> you just try to spot them. <laughs> he looks corruptible. Hang on, let me use my fifth kind of uh, kind of vision. <laughs> oh yeah, he's corruptible. You just constantly twirl. Like set that. your set your scanners for horny. No, no, I have a thousand and one senses. I, I I can see corrupt. I can see corruptibility in people. Yes. It's the guy with the giant sort of golden shoulder pads, the sunglasses, the hat that sort of you're pretty sure has a weather on the top of it. Just like, you know, I have a, I have a, a set of hearing that can only hear lies. I'm sure you've never heard a lie out of their mouth. <laughs> no, but he'd lie to their face. But yeah, I could give him a punt, I'd say. Have. <laughs> That's two successes. No, it's four, because of his... Four. Uh... Oh, okay, well, so that's yeah, a... But discards at six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's slightly better at lying than I am at seeing things. Oh, wait, I forgot the plus ten for being it, because it was auditory. So your six versus my six. Space so... Marineers. So, basically, I would get out... Yeah, you can probably find a um, a general who's kind of had a bit too much in the you know way of service. You know, because at the end of the day, it can't be a good life. You're looking for retirement. Retirement. You retire when you die. Yeah, but well, maybe no, not that's, everyone that's wants guard. to do that. Yeah, PDF that's, that's is guard and enlisted. Well, we can find somebody that's like gambled a lot and has huge debts, or you know, whose lifestyle is about to abruptly change. <laughs> yes, possibly involuntary. Yes. Well, one way or another, if we start talking to them, their lifestyle is about to abruptly change. Even How about we just find the one who's bought multiple copies of our uh, of our album? It's a good shot. They have poor spending habits, so... <laughs> well, I figure if they're listening to our Corrupting the Youth album, they're probably getting corrupted. We just have that on, we just have that on the... Uh... I think you'll find that not that many, like, generals will be listening to popular music. We need to do a military album. Either you go full Sabaton or go full classic. One of the two. I was going to say, time to roll up, my, uh, roll up the archives and find some Sabaton. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could again. We could. We could roll this into a concert, a military sort of a, a concert. That's. I. Of I do have that as one of my objectives: is to host a concert for the Planetary Defense Force with Bruce, drugs. Just a yeah. What is that All string right, of okay. numbers? Okay. So what's it? What's it? What was that lady's name again? Who? Are, who was the? Um, Hexadecimal. Our first, her, that that our first. Um, who's the first convert to our? Oh, we, have, we have other contacts now, though. We can use one of them. We don't want to overload okay. just one. Yeah. Okay. You can't keep going back to her. She's she's too busy. Yeah. But okay. Well, who who else can we go with? We we assume we forget who our contacts are. Well, we have a uh, we have an agent now, don't we? We do. We have we Madam um, Madam Dunn is your agent. Ah. Oh, she is our oh, agent. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but, but she, no, but you, then you have Lord and Lady Blackpink. Right, that was them. Um, uh, they yeah. are industrial they leaders, and they're. The, the issue is the one doing all the corrupting of them was Buck. Was Thorn? Yeah. No, it was. Well, Buck. Do we have, do we have somebody else who could do just, Charm? Uh, Af Furious's voice for that, though. Yeah, that was uh, that was me. That was me doing the thing over the phone for the people. Yeah, aren't you the charming one? Yeah, I am the. Well, I am. I have no, I'm the charming one. one. He's the lying one. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, it that, was like... Buckle who was leading the charge and corrupting them to our cause. So. It was almost done. 
Why Almost. Yeah, and then you decided to try to kill me. How about that? Interparty murder. Yeah, that's how it is. The downfall of all chaos. When people, you know, in your DD pair, it's it's playing the party, and yep. In this game, it's uh, not with an axe. Split apart. Well, keep your friends close, your enemies closer, and all that. Okay, so what's the plan now? We we buckle is obviously no longer with us. Um, I could take over for I can take over. We are what do you call it? Um, are we lying or charming? All fear is to take over. Probably. Take it over. Yeah, she's basically it. she's basically on our side, isn't she? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. if memory serves, last time we talked. Yeah, the madam is on our side. Yeah. Uh, it's the industrialists uh, that aren't quite. So we should d see about having them sponsor a concert for the PDF. Yeah, that's not a bad way to go about it. Military industrial complex, everybody. Exactly. Get some closer ties uh -huh. with that uh, famous, slightly corruptible general. What's his name? Literally, General, what's his name? No, uh, General Falls from Light. I didn't hear General what uh, Grace said his name was. I didn't touch his name. That explains it. Because you, you didn't actually though. find... You know. I wouldn't have remembered. Well, we haven't gotten that far. We haven't gotten to the we can find out. Yeah. So, let's contact them and see if they'll sponsor a concert. Will this be charming or just so be kind of like They'll turn up, they'll both be like... Bright young things again, in their twenties. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're all a lot better for the for, for 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 the Baroness or the Duchess or whatever. So she's also smarter. Yeah, she's got a natural fellowship for. Yes, that was it. Uh -huh. We should really start getting some of that for ourselves. That well, we can do it on you too. So we just need to be able to trust each other under the knife. That is the problem. Well, and so you know they're kind of like in their sumptuous like mansion in the background of the screen when it comes on, and you know just kind of wanders in. She's got like a bottle of wine in one hand, um, and she's well, kind of topping up, with, topping up a glass it. as she goes. Yes, yes. Can't you see we're quite busy? Oh, oh. Do I recognise you? No, no. Of course, she doesn't recognize you because you're un unremarkable. <laughs> People um, recognize me when they see me. They just can't recognize me when they're done seeing me. Yes, but she's done seeing you and recognizes you she again. She was done seeing you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody's done seeing me. So I'll introduce our, con our concern and pitch the idea. We would like you to, spon to see if you're interested in co-sponsoring a concert for the Planetary Defense Forces. Under General What's-His-Name specifically. That general, is quite what's a his name? lot of degrees of success. Yeah, that corruptible general you mentioned earlier, Gray, that you haven't told us the name of yet. Well, well you haven't found him. Because we're not in a position to do so yet. I assume we're yeah. doing this so we can find a corruptible yes. general. That's what I'm, I'm yes. taking from this. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah, you, you've got it backwards. No, it's what his name with a W O T. <laughs> Watson's name. Watson's name. <laughs> Watson's name, yes. Joel Watson? Um. General oh, what, you, oh, you want a corruptible general? Well, why would you want a corruptible general? Influenceable general. Inf oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, f I forgot the words. Um, yes, yes, I'm, I'm sure we know somebody. We, we supply quite a lot of the PDF. I mean, General Fleetwood. General Fleetwood's always negotiated, negotiates quite nicely. Fleetwood? Yeah, yeah General Mac Fleetwood. His wood is very fleeting, I hear. I, I, I heard that one coming a mile away. Cough, cough. And, yeah. Uh, Fine. I, I am committed to make every one of these characters a terrible joke. <laughs> is I cannot just disapprove. Mac yes, it I is. just said Mac Fleetwood. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the real it's the unremarkable thing kicking in again. But... You need to find an off switch for that, but then... Wait, are we, are we going to have the the the, mil, the uh, PDF that the um the police chiefs called uh well 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 and what's the uh all this then? No, because that's not no, subtitles. Okay. You you already know the chief arbiter is um arbiter um Cobain. Bain. Okay. Yes, Cobain. We, we did Cobain. That. We forgot because yeah. we're dumb. Cobain. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what, this is why I don't bother with decent names, because you guys won't remember them. Because <laughs> no, no one bothers writing them down. It's true, the we jokey remember. names are not easy to remember. Yes. We remember the names in Star Wars. Yeah. Mostly. That's Mostly. because we take that significantly more serious. Yeah, yes. True. Let's be honest. That's kind of sad if you think about it. <laughs> well, it's just it's just this campaign. This, this campaign, campaign was a silly campaign. So far. It was not set out to be serious. No. What rails? We're zipping down an ice-covered hill in one of those dish things. <laughs> Which is on fire. We're aiming to bounce off every tree we can before on... we hit uh, hit the river at the bottom. You don't so use, you. Those, on on ice, you use those on sand. Oh. I hate sand. It's coarse. Anyway. It's yes. Everywhere. General Fleetwood. Well, so, what would you be wanting of General Fleetwood? Well, we're just looking to introduce our new sound to the planetary defense forces. Have you heard of I believe either? there are untapped markets in that direction. Hmm. Maybe get him on side slightly. Well, there's always the, the morale. I mean, there have been a series of unfortunate incidents recently. Um, Makes it an excellent you know, opportunity for us. Yeah, you know, military bases have been started. attacked by terrorists. Terrorists, you say? What, who are you shooting? This card. <laughs> what? For <laughs> making the pun. <laughs> well, draw your dodge. Oh. It's just a bolt pistol. It doesn't actually hurt. Well, he, he with, actually with a seventeen, it might then. actually. Yeah, that, that well, I don't have actually... my knife anymore. Someone broke it. One second, I'm, uh... looking, for my, I'm looking for my dodge again. Skills. On your skills. If it does hurt. Dodge. If it does hurt you, I can heal you. <laughs> there you go. Dodge. <laughs> but anyways, that's that's out of yeah, here. I'm bullets. I'm patching up yeah. a, a bullet. What was that? <laughs> that noise? Um, yeah. <laughs> Doing oh, yeah, some but... heavy construction work over here. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Did so, you actually yes. spend infamy for that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, my non-lethal bullets. So yes, um, you could arrange something. I'm sure they'd like some way of improving the morale. Um, it would take a little bit of work, of course, because you know. They'd rather it be something more patriotic than current affairs. Because, um, you know, the thing is, with the Imperial PDF, they, they have to be seen to be, like, 100% behind the Emperor, so... Right, yeah. of course. They, t they tend to bring in, kind of, like, the much more Imperial-sounding uh, groups. So well, you're... we are working on a new album. We may have some tracks that might work out perfectly for that. Oh, yes, if you come in with a... Um, a very good, like, you know, Praise the Emperor-style song. That'd be great. We, we we may have to sort of negotiate the title slightly, but... I'm sure we can come up with something that would be perfectly acceptable to the Planetary Defense Force. So we're not going to play the course card that failed? What? Okay, shoot him again. Not if you play it forwards. <laughs> Failed that corpse god, uh, god corpse. That. Please. Here are the lyrics. Read only the first letter. <laughs> I love that that was the rubric saying that. He's finally <laughs> lost his patience and just gone. Enough, I'm getting my voice back. I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> I, I've been I trapped in this prison for 10,000 years, but still, I still find some way of talking. <laughs> No, this is sort of Voce on the outside of the call, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I can only hear about every Okay, other you hit again. Saying. Roll for damage. Well, roll, roll to dodge. <laughs> Sorry, discard. You're not dodging that one. Uh, he can. Uh, that probably won't hurt him. No, that won't hurt. Can I hit him with my four sword instead? No, we're shit. not trying to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Seen what that thing does, the last person you hit it with was inside out for a second. <laughs> he literally set on fire. And is now on fire, yes. Anyhow, have your uh, your people talk to our people, we'll get this set up and uh, get the ball rolling. Uh, yes, yes. And they'll kind of like wander off and send out some details. Fuck. What? <laughs> I yeah. keep on accidentally talking as the <laughs> <laughs> I know it's wrong. 
<laughs> Very erudite rubric reading. <laughs> Good night. Uh, what you've Where's done my grapples, is you Jack. strap the Vox caster to it so it sounds <laughs> like it's. <laughs> yeah. Does it normally just wait, say I am wait, a normal marine? Wait, you're <laughs> basic. You're basically <laughs> using it as a ventriloquist down there. What yes. Is it a text device. Okay. So, so <laughs> yeah. Spence, what you're what is saying that? is I can use compel on Ferris L. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab his arm and pull the trick and make him shoot himself. I was only being slightly sarcastic, people. Not non-fatally, of course, because it's a bolt pistol. I mean, R T T S. Rubric to speak to device. I think was no. <laughs> Rubric text to speech device. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So, besides looking wonder... each other in the background, can the face please finish with the discussion? Or <laughs> yes. I believe we have. No, we have. We're yes. setting up a contact concert. They'll let us know when it is. We're going to release some more martial music. So, we're going to have to find out some of the battles that were fought on this planet. Yeah, so finally, some damn good music. Yeah, Bark yep. will burst in with a set, with holding a bunch of pages that are on fire and say, "You may ma use my many chants to in honor of the War Master Horus." <laughs> Sounds good. Oh yeah, yeah your body burns. We just now. don't refer to him directly by name. That should get past the Imperial censors. All right, fine. I'm just going to go get an extinguisher and put the chants out because we're going to need those. Just presumably, just well, take them out of his hand and then. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I we, 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 supposed to be can, on fire. we can scribe those onto asbestos sheets. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. They aren't already? Well, he says they're on fire, so... Wait, right. How much, how much fire does he put out? He's uh, literally on he... fire 24-7. Alright, he's, he's on fire now. Yeah, he's, yeah, because it's cornate, it's 2d10 per physical combat space. It's only really Don't a problem with the stuff he's touching. Um... So I raise he's... discretion. <laughs> well, well it, it says that the damage only happens when you grapple him, so I'm assuming it has to be like touch base or punch him if you attack him with an unarmed strike. Well, that that counts as touching him, surely. Right. Yes. yes. <laughs> also, who's gonna punch a corn berserker? Can I just point that one out? Well, what you uh, actually, yeah. Oh, who was it? It was I mean, Al. He punched a corn berserker a bunch. All right. Anyone wanted. intelligent <laughs> going to punch a corn berserker? Hey, I'm quite intelligent. The fact that you've just said the words I'm quite intelligent disproves your notion. But... <sighs> I didn't I, shoot him. No. Intelligent and there's you can be you can be intelligent or unintelligent. So No, you can't. Uh, it. Oh, you drive me to drink. Now there's an idea. What, driving the general to drink? I mean to be fair, the <laughs> worse. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so great. What would be the uh, the difficulty of a forbidden long war, lore long war check to find out some of this planet's military history, or would it be common lore war? Uh, Not that it matters. Probably common lore war. Common unless something lore. did happen. Unless something did happen in the long war here. Didn't something happen everywhere? That's, That's true. The entire galaxy was cut I, Okay, look. I okay, know. Fair I know one thing that happened here on this ass end of a planet, and there and there was the fight against the sheep. <laughs> the sheep rebelled. Like a great emu fight in Australia, but uh, worse. But sheep don't have bulletproof hides. Mm hmm. The sheep. Feathers, yeah, whatever. To be oh, fair, okay. the sheep here might. Would this have any, like, what, like, what is the. I mean, this, 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 this planet has a fucking, like, uh, has men of iron factories on it, so. Uh, yeah, I would assume there was part of a long war here. Yeah, probably. Well, but how is that relevant to now? Yeah, it's about the planet's it. military history. Yeah, but not the military history that I care about. All right, I got one long war victory. Okay, there was a long war here. Yes. <laughs> you remember battles that no one else does. Yes. All right. So, because here's the thing: like a lot of a lot of uh, like we say that the long war was a long time ago, but uh, even today, um, millennia later. They're still like, um, like using that as a part of their their pedigree. So, Gray, do well, we what, literally what are like say? most of us are, are veterans of it. Yep. So, so Gray, what would be the one long war fight that happened on this planet? Would you say? I don't know. 
just some <laughs> random skirmish. It's not like it's a famous world. I mean, yes, here's the thing, like, to, to, to them, to us it may have been Tuesday. To them it might was the most important uh, skirmish of their lives. But it was also 10,000 years ago. Yeah. And then we can, but we, we, I mean, here's the thing, like, people, what do you call that one thing? A Power Wolf does songs about, like, the Green Cassars and Polish uh, stuff. Sabaton. That was, that was a long yeah, but, time, too. I mean, okay, I, I suppose you could use that to make the song better. Mm-hmm. But, at the end of the day, how many battles could people name that are, like, more than, like, a hundred years ago? Uh, Waterloo, uh, Pieter Maritzburg. Uh, yeah, but you still okay. It's two, that's like two hundred years ago. Let's go back ten thousand years. I don't think we battle were naming point battles taken. at that point. No, we were battle of Ogs. That was that was before yeah, Rome started naming Ogstick. all their fights. So he does have a yeah. The, and, the common person on the street I mean, isn't going to be there's... interested when you pull up the third battle of um, <laughs> Belvian or something like that. But 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 hold on a second. We... Where there is that? Where where is that? The Finnish Korean hyperwar image. Oh yeah, the Finnish Korean Finno Korean hyper war. I've kind of forgotten or... about that. It was the orbital mind control lasers. <laughs> See if I can find that it. sounds like a command and conquer plot. It really does. No, it, it was part of the hyper war okay. so that people would forget they were fighting it in the middle of the of the war and put their guns down. It's it's a joke based off of an image that's oh here it is, hold on. This is that was not the right image. Can we just say? Can we just say we're using that as basis for the, the for the song of their glorious military history of things they've done once long ago? Um, you, I'll say you, you can find something. You know, you got a standard of success there. You, you'll find some some like famous battle. That would make a pretty good basis for a song, though, talking about the glories of time long uh, long past. Yes. That's kind of what I was going. For, I was trying to go for here. How about things were much better way, way long ago, and you should definitely get back to that time. No. What do you refer to? The Imperium was just founded. History is irrelevant. <laughs> All between then and now it was complete. Was completely pointless, Babylon. Wait, Edit, does Bach not actually know that there has been ten thousand years since? No, he doesn't. Nope, he has not listened it's, to it's anyone entirely, who's told him. It's entirely possible that subjectively it hasn't been that long to him. He's been in cryostasis for 10,000 years. What? The warp is or weird. he's just been in the warp. The warp does shit like that sometimes. No one's entirely so sure true. why. Because it's the warp and it thinks it's funny? Because it's outside of reality? And this whole thing of linear time and space? So wait, does Bok know that Horus lost? Lies and slander. Does Bok know? Does Bok know that that the Imperials say that Horus Look, lost? Bark. Does Bark know that Horus is in fact dead? I'm Oops, not the one fine. that said it. <laughs> Bark, you actually Horus say that. Died. Yeah, I'm, I'm not dumb enough to actually say Bark. that. Horus. Horus dies slaying the emperor. Right now, only there is a puppet upon puppet of a corpse on a on a on the throne. Now, we need to dispose of it for the uh, good yeah, of all humanity. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to start slowly backing out of the room in Terminator armor. <laughs> the Terminator has left the building. I'm immune to charm. That's fine. What? <laughs> Did Korn not tell you this? <laughs> Presumably not. Now he's about to kill someone. I'm not in the room anymore, so... Baxi, not you. Um... Kenny, get in here. <laughs> Bring him up. This is why we sing our songs to venerate the War Master and all, and all those who fell. I feel like we call, kill more Kennys when Zebrin's not here than we do when he is. Well, well Kenny has never actually, actually died. Actually when he's not here, he can't do anything about it. Gray. That's I don't the think thing. He'd stop us if he's here. We actually manage to kill them when he's not here because he's not here controlling them. So we just throw him into the grinder. True. Yeah. Yeah. Is 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 Bark having a mental breakdown now? Desk. 
You must yeah. tell me every detail of this fight. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sure. spend an infamy point for, uh, what's it called? Uh, Wisdom of the Ancients to actually know everything I need to know to tell him this in such a signif- in such a an adequate way. Yeah. And then I will drag out a whiteboard and begin drawing <laughs> representations of the The state of the Imperium, yeah. And eight hours later, we are not done. It's really simply. Right, three eight words hours first. later, I've finally gotten to the part where Horus actually rebelled. Yes. Well, I mean, surely Bach knows that much. Oh, so you're actually just reading the Horus Heresy books, then? Pretty much. Yes. Uh, well, it's, it's really obvious. Snafu. Look, uh, look our, ultra, our ultra mega super magnum rock opus will be of the entire Horus Heresy and how it was completely justified. That's you know, ass. that's actually a pretty good idea. That's our fifth concert. That is a that is Just, a, okay. So I would like with to point out you, you could forward. probably get mm. two for, a two for here. Mm. You could do. Oh. Um. So this isn't really like corrupting things. You could easily get yourself banned from the radio. Yes, that's one. actually true. It wouldn't be yeah. that hard to get banned from the radio with something. And and you could try and telephone this one. That just, that just makes sense. Yeah, fuck yeah. It, we're Pink Floyd now. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going to get yourself... Yeah. You could quite quickly knock... Actually, you know, to be honest, with those three, you'd probably even knock... Um, spread f- fear through the adults. Yeah, we've just got a... Yeah. This will probably take a bit of planning, though. Yeah, this will take some planning, but you could knock three... This one. But yeah, so I think you, you're well on set for knocking out three of these objectives in one go. Are we? So are we doing a full rock opera with the with, for, by the Horus Heresy and this plate this planet's uh, involvement in it, plus uh, you know with the lead in of how of great Master Horus and the entire and the fall of the, uh, the uh, rebellion against the Imperium? Well, it would work for a military angle because I mean, obviously, it's about war and stuff. It's about the war. Yeah. So I mean. Okay, and stuff does cover a lot, but that is basically what I said. The war and stuff. Yes. <laughs> the war under- and stuff. <laughs> under- that's what we call the thing, the war and stuff. <laughs> how, Bart, by the way, how does Bart take the entire, like, with diagrams explanation of, of the fall of Boris? I'm assuming that's tears. Fascinated. And the fact that we are we are spinning this that you know it wasn't the emperor who struck down Horus. Stru- Horus struck down the emperor, but was un- was killed in the final moment because he was a dirty psyker. The emperor yes. being a dirty psyker, not Horus. This makes our return to Terra that much more important. Definitely, we must free the Imperium no, from the from the, the shadow of this centers. false emperor. Yes. Lords of Terra have a reckoning to attend to uh, all, all the Prime Archer psychers. It's just that Magnus is the best at it, and uh, what's his name, Lehman Russ, is just full of self hatred. Yep. <laughs> well, to be fair, Conrad Kurz wasn't exactly fond of his being a psyker either. Yeah, but he's dead, so who gives a fuck? Also fair point. <laughs> all right. So. She'll get back to you, and they'll, you know, like, you know the Duke and Duchess will be there, you know, in their fancy 1920s style gear, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, we've, we've been able to contact the general, because, of course, this is eight hours later. Um, yes. <laughs> and, yes, we've been able to contact the general, and he's, you know, if you can find so- something suitable with Marshall, then he's willing to have you <clears throat> do, like, a... Performance to try and increase the, the troops' morale. Would he want a private screening of this performance before before giving it to the troops? Oh no, no! I'm sure we can you know, we work our way like around that little problem. What you said? Sorry. What did you say? <laughs> that was the wrong thing to ask. <laughs> yes, yes, he was a private screening, along with the board of um, deputies. And now, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we can work our way around. Comics that. Code Authority. Let's just just put it to give. That's why I wanted to give him, get him a loan first. Sure. 
If you want to get him alone, you can try that. No, yeah, that's actually that a good weird. point. If he gets a private screening, that means oh, yeah. we can take our time and get him on side before trying to disseminate it. We, can, we can get him lubed up first before we shut before we put it in. That's entirely your. Word. I hate that analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Although we cannot deny it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's accurate. That's why I hate it. The inappropriateness of that analogy is only almost countered by how it is appropriate in this exact situation. Yes. And in no other situations ever. <laughs> oh, dear. Also, dang it, Slanesh. <laughs> um, so, I think the next thing you want to do is try and get it upgraded to televised, and that's probably going to involve, you know, meeting somebody who couldn't actually get that done. I mean, I'm sure that the uh, I'm sure the military has a a uh, broadcast network or a broadcast. Yeah, but they're not going to put it on national TV. You'll have to turn this uh, into True why, Page or something like that. That's why we would be. That's why we would be getting the guy alone so we can get him, get him. You know, show him the national uh, necessity of this to for. You know what? Hmm? Why don't we just get it on pay per view? That way we can get paid too. Yeah, that means they can see it. Well, here's the thing, though. Basically, the entire planet is clamoring for our next album. Don't yep. we actually? Don't we have around like pirate broadcasting as well? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't that. have a visual component. No, that's just the end. No, we can, but we can broadcast the music like that. That's if we put it on pay per view, uh, someone will pirate it. Here's the thing: here's the someone will pirate it, it, and then everyone else will pirate it too. The, the, the thing that we're saying is that the reason why we would want it on, we were we need to get it banned off the uh, network before we turn on the private our uh, own pirate radio station, so people right. would have a something becomes illegal, and then people look for means of alleviating the illegality, so they go and go and do pirate stuff. We need to make sure that demand is there before we you know put out the excess the the illicit supply. Well, the demand's there. Well, it's getting there, but we need to get more demand first. Well, don't we just do what every other band seems to do, which is just release singles and build up hype and release the somewhat more entertaining but less heretical ones to build up focus on the album. And when the actual August, uh, sorry, the actual concert occurs, bring out the heavy guns that get the banning. Yeah, but the problem is that sort of delays our whole thing we're trying to do now. Mm -hmm. That's why I was. That's why I was. That's why I was wanting to get the. I was wanting to just get the, the guy one in private screening first, and we could work the business on him and he'll use his military authority to get a to get a um, wide broadcast of it make it a you know a make it a national occurrence you know just don't blow this one's head up we don't blow his head up we'll, we'll, mind we'll mind. blow his mind and not his brains we yes. say that now but we expand his we expand his uh, his his view the something world. something master exploder <laughs> Wait, fuck, we already did that joke. We yeah. did, we did. We could go for Master of Mankind. You know, Master of Puppets, but shit, Master of Mankind. No, 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 Master so of Puppets is how this whole thing ends. Yeah. And if, uh, and if, you know, uh, everything goes, everything goes horribly wrong, we can just have Targrave do the nerve, the nerve staple on him. The nerve Nerve staple. You ever played a uh, South of Centauri? That's nerve stapling. Sorry, I get what you mean now. Yes. The, oh, the mind nerve crack. Staple very bad. Ner yeah, nerve, nerve stapling, stapling is terrible. Nerve stapling is what he said, though. Yes. I thought he said nerve tape. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that would be significantly less effective, I think. Well, that's why I was confused. <laughs> I couldn't understand what. <laughs> yeah, you just sellotape people's services. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell is this supposed to accomplish? I mean, that would probably actually do more damage than stable. Yeah, it's a little yeah. more noticeable. Though. Anyway, so as we as we continue on, so you're attempting to get a um a personal meeting with him. Then? Are we? Are we? Uh, yes or no? Get, uh, I'll I'll let this to somebody else. Say yeah or no. I mean, I do think meeting with the general is a good call. It's got risks. Yeah. Uh, Setting aside those risks, it's worth doing because if we can turn him, then yeah. we have a pretty valuable resource. And worst comes to worst, we can just kill him. 
That's he, pretty worse. If worse becomes worse, he can mysteriously die. Not that we kill him. He, we can kill him. dead dog guys again. Actually, that's not a terrible way. That's not a terrible scapegoat. No. That's why we put him. That's why we made him in the first place. Exactly. They exist to be blamed, so. They exist to take the fall for us not being good at negotiation. Diplomacy has failed. I think your kind of um, issue now is you need to write the song. And we don't have anymore anyone who's capable of writing a song. Would this I, be the? Well, here's a question, Gray. Would we redo the ritual, the hit single for this? Oh wait, no, wait, no, never mind. That was a different. I was about to say we mention. already have the song, but no, we can't use that one. But we have no. the ritual oh, for the hit single, so then can we do the? Can we use that? Use the ritual. The song yeah. later? You already have the demon engine. Oh yeah, we have the demon engine. Yeah. We have the. Makes it much easier. We just need to actually do the thing. Yep. The thing must be done. Alright, time for a jam session. I'm going to stay out of the jam session because A, yeah. I have a fellowship of one, and B, I don't really want any more corruption at the moment. You, you, you do the recording. Yeah, well, you see, the thing is, this, I think this needs all of us to pitch in for different stuff. Because, like, we do fulfill different roles in the band. All right. Well, okay. So, how? Uh, what was the? What was the last uh, like ritual for the hit single? We did? and we need to get Grobnar over here. Or what was the? What was the demon in his name again? Grol. 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 And note, we don't actually have direct control over him. Yeah. Now, is he just stomping about the ships? Currently, just yes. for having a final being well, a demon. we sort of we sort of have locked him into the one of the lower levels where there's just a bunch of Kenny, so we don't care. But I can ah. sort of try to I can I can try to tell him what to do, but he doesn't necessarily Look. have to listen. Let's uh let's listen. Could you to ask him polite? Well, how about this? Yeah, that is tell, him him polite. It's t tell him that we're gonna have a jam session and that I his input would be appreciated. Yeah, I okay, have the cool. message to a Kenny and send and and compel the Kenny to we go to Grohl. We, ha we have an intercom, man. Yeah, do you really think he's going to listen to it though? But he can get it out. Also, Grohl is a demon attached to a giant sort of speaker set or something, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Or, or something to that effect. So, so having him giving him the ability to talk directly at us over a speaker is probably a poor idea. That is actually a fantastic. Yeah, that that is valid. Like we want, we want Grohl to be part of this, but we we want to be exposed to him as little as possible. Because if 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 I fuck up or if he decides fuck this, we're going to have to literally beat him into submission. Has anyone made a recording booth for Grohl? Well, that could be a tech test for tech use test for F sixteen. Yeah, sort that out yeah, before. Tech use tech. Ceramite plus, recording uh, booth. Tech use seriously, tech if you want to record it, mole rods. I think, it honestly, it's going to be mostly a point of how thick do I have to make the walls? Enough. Yes. Uh, um. I could also do, I could also, like, do a test of some sort to put, like, um, uh, like, like, ritual protection stuff on it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yes. What would that be, Gray, if that's okay? Demonology? Demonology, yeah. Demonology, maybe warp, because you're just trying to get general warp oh. stuff to stay in. I've got all of those at the exact same rating, so it doesn't matter to me. Well, I have warp, I don't have demonology, so I can assist on okay, well, the other. Okay, well then we'll do it warp. Actually, what's your roll against? Let's set before 51, we'll do it. and that was a, I'm going to re-roll that. I Actually, have the fifth one. I have seventy without an assist on Forbidden Lord. Okay, Lord. I can I can then give you an assist to eighty. So I failed on my own, but I can still help him to do it. I couldn't no, work. No, you Antelope. drew it upside down. If you could, if you move <laughs> like that, we're all gonna no. Okay, just just let me. Oh, I'm trying to. Uh, what's happening is I'm trying to do this in Terminator armor. My agility is thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You can just take the Terminator off, man, you know. No, actually, and he put it no, back on I again can't. after he does. I, I sort of welded him into it. 
Oh, at, okay. his, at his request, I should note. Yes. I'm so glad I found that stuff. Kind of wish I found twin infernal pistols, but still, with scopes, but still. If well, we do another, for if those. we do an acquisition test, I'll, I'll, my role can go to you. Yay! I already spent one roll for F sixteen. Wait, when did you do that? For your face or your arm or your something? Oh right, yeah. I would legitimately yeah, forgotten about that. For a variety of bits. Yeah, like. like not not to not it's, to make this just, disappointed, but I I gave you an arm or a face, and I saved you from falling I, down a near bottomless pit. I've I've just lost so many limbs and shit that it <laughs> all blurs together. <laughs> Blown up by a plasma well. cannon. Blown up by a plasma okay, cannon so. again. No no no. The first one was only a pistol. <laughs> right right. And right. it mm. wasn't mine. It's true. It wasn't his. <laughs> oh, it's got a <laughs> swivel on it. Nice. Okay, so you probably also have to do a test to actually build Wait, the boost. Wait, I have to ask, Gray, is the, yeah. is, the center, is the center of the speaker his eye that he swivels around to look at? Yes. Sure. The, the yellow bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so it's probably a tech use test to actually build the booth, and Gray, do you want to put a penalty on that? Um, if, oh, you got quite a lot in your forbidden law. So probably what? just a minus twenty because you've you, you learned the warp side of it quite well. Why? Why did we make an Ed two hundred nine with a fucking with a boot box system? Because we have terrible impulse control. <laughs> well, it's yeah, not it's... gonna fall apart, and the warp energies will not fall out of it. So I think we're. I just have to get them into it. That's on someone else because I can't do shit for that. Okay, so, Kenny. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So basically, Grawl is our. Um, who's the guy that tells the musicians how to how to like that? Who basically coaches the musicians? He's, he's more our, like the uh, diva that will kill us all if he has a tantrum. <laughs> oh no! He's 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 like our uh, he's like our manager guy. The director. Director, yeah, director Grawl. Your your the booth. director is me, dude. Director Grawl, <laughs> yeah. your booth is ready. No, but he's 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 in the recording thing, like Muse. He's he's, he's one of the assets we're recording. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna lock him in there, and we're putting him in the we are going mood. to. You're gonna lock him in there, and then wait until he sort of does music at us. <laughs> Incorporate that into the into the song somehow. Maybe maybe put a couple of candies I mean, in the recording booth thought, as well, so he has tools to make music with. I well, that was, was that was the plan to get him in there. I thought mm. he was like a sound, or like a soundboard, or sound type thing. No, he's he's a he's he's a living speaker, basically. He he is part of the music, isn't he? Basically, the new front man, since we don't have a proper front man. That's I fucked up, that, but I think yes. I think Al was the front man. I thought we were using um, him to make the music with. Yeah, I'm the guy Oops. with the massive charm score. Okay, well he's okay. He's the one that provides a lot of the then <coughs> sort of. Okay, Sorry, he's, he's the one heard. that gives like the put the mind affecting stuff into the into the music. So we just mm -hmm. have to wait for him to make music at us and use that. Yeah, he's the background vocals. Because mm -hmm. no one notices everything, and that's the perfect place for the mind affecting stuff. Uh, okay. no, 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 he's the subwoofer. <laughs> okay, so Gray, what do we have to do to get Grohl into the into this booth we built? Well, you're probably quite easy to find him. He'll be kind of wandering around the lower sectors, you know, randomly mutilating your crew members. As you yeah. do. As you do. Um, yeah, that, that, just follow the blood trail. Just he's another Monday playing, morning. He's playing music and he want, they want him to listen to his mixtape. Okay, so great. I don't know mixtape. how you want to handle it, but I can... I could, in theory, try a demonic mastery test. To get him to listen, and if that goes wrong, plan B, we use Kenny's to lure him into the... Demonic Mastery sounds like a good idea, actually. No, it doesn't. It never sounds like a good idea. <laughs> ah, yes. We have a demon engine. <laughs> Trying to use Mastery on the already existing demon engine sounds like a good idea. The yeah, alternative is he does exactly whatever the fuck he wants, which is what he's doing right now. Yes. You have noticed that there's, there's several less crew members knocking around. <laughs> it happens. 
Okay, now where is the rules for the demonic mastery test? You better oh. cut that shit out, or we're gonna have a real big problem trying to restock our I losses. Have, I have a question. Why did we give Mega Demon Engine with legs? Because we it had to give him a legs. locomotion of some sort, and do you want a tank instead? We could have given him. A, we could just give him a hover thing. Yeah, that yeah, is that was better things. because it means we can't even defeat him with stairs. <laughs> 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 that, that's why he's stuck on his level. He can't navigate the stairs. And that's why he's stuck on the feral <laughs> decks. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's so canon. <laughs> Curses! <laughs> stairs! Well, oh god, is he claptrap? No, he's at 209. He's easy oh god, to if, if he could have been, look, if you take that no, I mean, right there... He's voiced by... whatever. No, See, no. I haven't uh, emptied my multi melter into it? No. Look, look, yeah. Please. Okay, great. So there, there is a rule here called breaking mastery, where if the demon is forced to go against its fundamental nature in some way, it may attempt to break the summoner's control, forcing a second, excuse me, a second is, mastery test with a negative modifier for minus of minus thirty. Is this against its fundamental nature? To I go don't into a think so, since no. we summoned him specifically because he was going to be on board with the whole making, making music. music. Yeah, Maybe so no, I'd say this is me. definitely well within that, his, his normal frame of reference. That, that speaker does remind me a lot of Cap Trap. You take a look at what I just did. Nope. No, I like ED209. I hate Cap Trap. We need a stream. Do you not like it? I like Okay. Okay. There. Um, I just want to see if there's any special rules about ordering, or not ordering, but telling them to do stuff. I don't think so. Not really. Okay, well, I can then just do a flat, normal demonic mastery test, and uh, if that fails, then we have an op we have a, a problem. Don't fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not. I think it's too hard. Okay, so it's an opposed willpower test, taking a full action to perform. The summoner is a psyker. He adds plus five for every point of psy rating. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, so. I am within arm's reach of this, well, within line of sight of this monster to do this, right? Well, you can yes. just be at the end of a very long corridor. Okay. That's a, that's a way to do it. Then the, the, but the corridor it terminates in the recording studio. Yes, that is a bit of an issue. I'll give you that. Position yourself in the middle so that he's at one end and the studio is at the other. Okay, now I'm going to poke my head just around the sort of... <laughs> just around the sort of like corner of the of the thing, so you can just see me. You're playing peekaboo with the demon engine. Well, here's the thing. Again, if I fuck up or he succeeds or one or the other, he he starts doing his thing. I just love okay, the mental imagery of peekaboo. Great. Are you, are you ready for the willpower test? Oh, I am more than ready for this willpower test. Oh boy. Okay, 36. Well, you didn't fuck says. up. Um, I didn't fuck did I up. Did I actually but copy him across is the next question? Sorry? Oh, I never copied his stats across for a second. Did I send them to you? You sent them to me, I just didn't put them into the computer. Oh, okay. Didn't really think you'd be using him this soon, huh? No, I just forgot. Well, up. yeah, I mean... He could have oh, popped right. up and caused problems for us. Is this an opposed willpower? It isn't opposed. Yeah, so he's only rolling against 32 anyway. Yeah, he's, he can't really... Yeah. I mean, he was only a... a pink horror? Yeah. Pink horror is gone. Oh, well. Nice. Nice. Roll? Oh, he did now, he Grohl, did. if you would be so kind as to step into this booth... Okay, ah. I just have... How many net successes or degrees is... Eight, I suppose, if it's opposed. Uh, but you, don't you have a natural willpower? Oh, that is true. If we count that, I've got willpower three, so eleven. Now, Grohl, it's time to make music. For our so, yeah. bitter sweet symphony. I think. Okay, first order of business. I tell him to. I tell him to shake a furious owl up, sort of around the room a bit. What did I do? 
Uh, why me? What he fails. He fails to shake various Alarak. As it turns out, when you don't have arms so much as you just have guns, it's yeah. really hard to shake someone around. He dodges anyway. Doesn't he have a natural string? Oh, it doesn't matter for the for the base rule. Yeah, it doesn't matter because unnatural only comes into effect if you pat. Yeah, fair enough. I don't well, think there is a unnatural pat. weapon skill. There is, I think. Oh, I need to get some. Well, the the one mutation that you pick any unnatural bonus. Oh, really? Either way, the next thing I ask girl to please get into the booth. We have provided him with a number of kennies in case he gets bored. I mean, making music is his purpose. He shouldn't get bored. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know, gotta gotta got look out for for your performers. We need we need the candy for backup dancers. Well, I think in this case we need the candies to die horribly, but I suppose. Ah, the blood of a few. I, I like the, I like this idea that Kenny was once one Kenny, but he was cursed to where. Every other Kenny was made because made from the deaths of uh, uh, that he could have had. So it was just one Kenny with, with all the possible deaths of Kenny's across. So he's like the nameless one, except not nearly as capable. Yes. Well, yeah. instead of operating on Kenny operates on the multiverse principle, except all of them are in the same universe. That's what I was trying to go oh, with. Great. Yeah. He's Henry. <laughs> yes. That's why the head Kenny is the Kenny that lives. So does does Grohl? Yes, Grohl get will get into the box. I thank him for his um, for his cooperation and then promptly lock thing. Oh, okay. All right, so you blocked you blocked the demon engine into the into the box. Yes, with Kenny's. Now yeah. what? Well, now everybody else does their thing and makes music while I do whatever special effects are required, which is probably not much. All right, cool. so we'll make some music. Um, so I did my we're going, bit. We're making we're we're making the music now. So we're going to do like what? We're going to roll long. War. I mean, we didn't get a success earlier on long wars. So we get any bonuses for making this? Eh. We have our subject matter. And I know exactly who's going to be the lead vocal. We're going to have Bark be the lead vocal on this. Or he's going to do, do the sheer shrieking wails of anger of the... Uh, they're going to go more death metal on this one. What is Bark's fellowship? 37. We're going to do some severe coaching on this. <laughs> I was about to say, like, interesting choice of lead vocals. But... Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea, but let's roll with it. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, I thought it was because oh, it, was, no. it was more of the fact it was Cornade for this. For this, We would get a bonus for him being Cornade and this being a song of war. I mean, I mean we could just have the drums be, lead, be uh, more prominent than uh, guitar. Lead mm -hmm. drums. Yeah, we have the drums as lead, not, of, uh, not the lead guitarist. I mean... I, I mean, I, I have a uh, I have a charm of sixty. How much how much six how much uh, help does that give? Uh, how much assist does that give, Bark? Plus ten. Mm. That's how that works. Yep. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's sixty, seventy nine. It's still just plus ten. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, great. I suppose you you're handling this like a ritual, except we're not going to use that ritual table. Yeah. Um, so, a bonus, a small bonus maybe for, for the long war stuff, another bonus for having Grohl in the thing on side. Yeah. But it's probably going to be quite difficult. Yes, it's probably going to be, well, it depends on what you want to get. I've, the way I'm going to look at this is kind of a, a test that will then determine like, how how well like the actual music sounds, how good the actual music sounds. Seems fair. And it will have the power of the hit single, but it will uh, need, but it needs to be good quality in the first place. The hit single quality only, you know, amplifies the uh, the, the success of the music. Yeah. So, probably. Hmm, trying to get the right skill for this. 
too bad. Well, it we could be a number of skill tests. Yeah, it could be a number of skill tests. Probably a charm test would be needed and a command test. That. Charm okay. command, yeah, that's, that's yeah, a good test. Like, you kind of build those into deceive. Like maybe, yeah, deceive chase too. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone else have command so discard's not rolling everything? I have, I have command. Well, I have command seventy. Oh yeah, oh, we he probably want me. different people. To, yeah, we probably want different people to do different stuff though. Right. So it's like I mean, I've got not, charm at seventy nine. Okay, so you can do yeah, charm. I only have discard, charm at sixty. What do, what do you have to see that? I have to see that ninety. I have oh, command. Well, you do see six. Uh, six. No, you can okay. do command. Okay. Anything else, Gray? Can we have uh, can we have F sixteen roll tech use just to make a, make a good uh, music video out of it? <laughs> Possibly. He, um, I mean, he can do a, he can use a lot yeah. of archive war footage. Well, archive think... war footage to splice together the music. Yeah. Really minus to minus twenty and those three tests should be enough. Oh, minus twenty, you say? Yeah. Okay. So I'm deceiving. Do I get my pure PDF bonus for the charm test? Um, you're kind of making this a general one, aren't you? Okay. Unless you want to really focus down on the P getting the PDF on side. I mean, we are making it for them. Yeah, true. Yeah, go on. Cool. That gives me a minus ten instead of twenty. You, you know the type of thing soldiers like. Lots, lots of swearing. I have yep. two degrees of success, so. I'll take okay, my degree so of success. Got... Okay, so the, the the vocal section has flat one degree of success all around. Yeah. Have two, I have two. Because of my... my, 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 my He's got his Solanesh-y thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hmm? It's a success for everything, isn't it? It's not tell, the greatest uh, song. I'll tell you what. No matter what the actual song is like, that music video kicks ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Grohl probably helps, like the ultimate yes. result. I've got to shut his sheet down. He makes the, mu the, ma the, the music magical. Oh, actually, I oh, did. Wait. I did start filling in. Couldn't we? Couldn't we have like spent the point to make? Oh no, way! We didn't. We wouldn't have done that. We would have done that before that. So yeah. to we do what spend though? An, spend an infamy point to make it uh, to uh, get a degree of success more. Could have, but didn't. I can't actually do that. Doesn't one of you guys have a natural fellowship? Nope. I don't know. That's hard to get you for that, right? I mean, fair enough, but you are like Snaish. Yeah, but isn't well, like one of you is I'm not. So Snaish requires you to have to make uh, to have um, your own material, your original material. Huh. Um, right. Grohl doesn't really have much in the way of tests. Uh, what would Grohl... I mean, Grohl is there to feed well, all I the I thought Grohl would add, like, a flat modifier to the end of yeah, it. Yeah, give a plus ten for all of those. Cool. Oh, okay. Oh, that's an interesting Three reason. all round. Uh, what I could do is when we do meet with the um, general, oh. I have the lewd. So Bart, I can we... use that to like make the ultimate thing better. Okay, Bart, we're gonna wheel it. We're gonna wheel some drums ahead. Wheel some drums in front of you. Make a make a, a weapon skill test against them. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we found the old ceramite. Uh, ceramite and uh, he out of drums. Of course, we're using. Of course, we're using. Uh, we're going to be using um, these metal drums, drums for this. War. Yes. So you know that 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 something awful emote where the guy misses the drums. Yes. Yes, I know <laughs> exactly what result. you're talking about. Yeah. That is the first result. <laughs> Turn you on the chain the sword. The pointer head. You stop. <laughs> Turn off the force swords. Turn on the chain sword. <laughs> Three sets of drums later. So, so we're going full on grunge, I guess. I think we may have some sort of perverted grunge power battle hybrid. Yeah. Post-industrial okay. grunge. Oh God! Even saying that, I feel I'm. What else would you get? What else do you think you would get for about the? What else would you get for the long war? You know what I mean? Post-industrial uh, yeah. grunge core. There we go. Oh God! Yeah, it's a whole new method to hardcore. <laughs> uh, Gray, that's actually a thing. I 
I've got Compel. I don't know if I could cast it now, but I could cast it on you, the general when we meet him instead. Yeah, on the general, sure, you're not going to be able to use that on the entire audience. No. Well, I should use the loot instead, because that just Remember, makes it... We are making this like the same it. process we used to make the hit, the, the hit single, so it probably will have some of the same qualities. Because the hit single was... Uh, the, the power of the hit single would be infused with this music. Sure. I'm using the, I'm so using what, the idea of the hits. Okay. Well, yeah, we're just doing the test differently because the yeah. base it's ritual. Not, it's not a full ritual. ritual. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we don't like the base ritual stuff. It's, it's yeah, base ritual is a bit weird. It's too easy for us at this stage of the game. Yeah. So, what is our ultimate result, Gray? The ultimate result is pretty damn good, actually. You know, it starts off sounding like it's, you know, pro-emperor because it starts telling the, the tale of how the emperor like, forged the Imperium. And then it starts talking about Horus, and it gets a slightly dodgy ground. Uh, and then it just, it's kind of downhill into kind of a screeching crescendo with, you know, ears bleeding by the end from there. So yeah, but it sounds very martial to begin with. Mm. It's like the 1812 Overture where you use actual cannons. Sounds about right. Sounds yeah. about right. I make well, a point not to listen to it. Well, yeah, I mean, beyond a certain point, just stop listening to it here and have to say. It just it turns into pornic anger in the end or something, or... At the just end, it is just Bach yelling and him hitting the drums with his horse sword. <laughs> But with like doom metal influences just actually corrupting you as well in the process. Yes. Because, you know. Because that's the whole point. Yeah. Okay, so actually this song had influence from every single well, no Nurgle influence. Well he died. Is uh is that what? It? Well I was thinking, yeah. you know, this 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 would be sort of like it's not dedicated to any particular god because you know, it had influence from people dedicated to different gods, except we don't yep. have any Nurgle influence. Truly, we are the band undivided. What if that's our, what if that's our band name? We're, we're the band that knows full well fuck nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> chaos undivided! Chaos undivided as long as you're not nerd glass. <laughs> Chaos minus one. That's a band name right there. K, K minus one. I'll see yeah, C minus minus one. Yeah, Chaos mostly undivided. Chaos. Chaos undivided. <laughs> FYI, Nurgle is smelly. Ah. <laughs> who is the uh, who are the Iron Warriors supposed to be dedicated to? Undivided. They're no one. Yeah, they're undivided. Okay, they're just angry. Got you. Like, they are the least. I think only the Night Lords are more anti actual cats than the Iron Warriors. Uh, are more aren't, the elf, aren't the Alpha Legion also? Nah, the, the, Alpha the Alpha Legion is no unaligned, one. but they still like worship. They're heavily yeah. zinch. They're, they're, like, they're unaligned, but they're like zinchianly unaligned. The Alpha oh, Legion are secret loyalists, and everyone knows it. Which makes no, no, that's what I was getting loyalists. at. So isn't that sort of. We're not putting that material on the album. Can I just uh, that would no, be? No, I'm aware no. of that. We're not. That don't we have an Alpha Legionnaire here? No. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have um, two. Various. Yeah. We are. Yeah. From, we are totally not Alpha Legionnaires. Yeah. Okay, we are not starting a firefight here. <sighs> what are you talking about? I don't have the Alpha Legionnaire ca uh, character class. Sure. Our uh, starting. Path or whatever it is, I'm I, I'm archetype. I'm chosen archetype. Archetype, that's what it is. I took chosen. I know what I'm about. We can actually test this based on the special ability. <laughs> our, our character suddenly gain knowledge that they're in a game when they test to see if somebody is Alpha Legion based on whether the ability works or not. All right. Look, Sam. I'm not even a space marine. All right. I think it's time to meet the general. Then you've got your song. Yes. You spend a bit of time like nicing it up, making it all pretty. And then you get the general kind of shipped into a third location 
They dump you in an actual recording studio to make it look like you're, you're working there. Okay, who's actually meeting him? I am I. not. <laughs> um, I am... Uh, the, 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 alpha, the, the non-alpha legionnaire boys will probably meet him. I am pretending to be a prop. <laughs> Bad. A lampshade, what sure? What the fuck is going on here? I'm <laughs> having to work the recording stuff because apparently no one else is capable. Also, if he sees you, um, he's going, oh, I can. No, you, got, you got unremarkable, don't you? I do still have a fear check, so don't let him get within like five meters of that's what I mean. That's why you're on the recording booth and you're not coming Look, out. Look, I can work the tech stuff just fine. I'm just rolling at a 50 instead of a 90. I don't roll at a 90. I roll at a 100. Upgrades. Says, I see. I have literally double yours. Okay. Doesn't mean I can't. It just means that you're significantly better at it. Just so Wouldn't long you long. rather have the sure thing instead of a coin? Yes! Set? But also, you're schmoozing the guy, aren't you? Yes. We are schmoozing so, him. Hence, you are not. We are going to schmooze this man. Alright. Man is now ready for schmoozing. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's an interesting man with an afro for, an, for a PDF officer. That is a, that is a beautiful man there. It's not an afro, that's, 90, that's wonderful 70s flowing locks. Oh, okay, it's a 70s hair. Really? Yep. Yeah. Looks that's... like an afro to me. Nope. Okay. No. They go all the way down. Oh, I see. If you I thought that was a high collar. It... Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was like part of his because it changes color. That's just because the light's reflecting off of it. And therefore, yeah. we lose sanity. To be eight, to you, be you know these things when you're, you know. Well, you have naturally wavy hair. Huh? It does look like him. Well, that's nice. it's, a, it's, a, it's a draw. I found a drawing of him and then photoshopped the head on top. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he does not have nearly as much hair anymore. No, no. Well, <laughs> time happens. Well, I mean, who are we talking about? about? Nick the Fiedler? actual. Yeah. Oh, okay. The guy. The guy. Okay, so people must roll their tests against him. Hello. All right, so he walks, he strides in with the air of an imperial officer. You know, cane, skull, like cloak flowing behind him. It says, "So, you are the gentleman who wish to perform for my forces." We are. Excellent, excellent. So, of course, I want to make sure that you are bringing the finest imperial doctrine to the my men. Yeah. So, we so at this point, yeah, be. he's gonna sit down and expect to be shown. We will be glory. <laughs> <laughs> two space Marie, two two men in a room. One lies and one tells the truth. Hold on, you don't have, unre you know the. Um, yeah, but I'm not nearly as freaking creepy as everybody else around here is. Oh, he he's a space marine power. general. He, he's like a PDF general. He might know what a space marine is. Yeah, I'm but Farius is good enough at lying that he won't. I'm an ogren. I'm a very handsome ogren, thank you very much. 12 degrees of success. I'm a handsome ogren, short and... You're just very tall, that's all. Man muscular. Oh, literally tall and stout, please. Fat boy. And as that's... everyone can see from my first deceive roll up there, I am not a space marine. It's no, no, well, you've, well, you've got the mutation, so you don't look like one anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to we're going to apply this applied music to this man with the music video. Well, I thought Carson was going to um, go in there. Yeah, and uh, Are you going to give him the business, Carson? Well, see, the problem is uh, this will be using delude. Or... This will be this will be using delude for something that it isn't actually used for. Oh yeah, he doesn't have the nerve staple. Okay, let's just let's just show him the music and see what it's. I had to compel, that. but the problem is I think it ends at some point. It doesn't yeah. like um, it, it doesn't let's... like um, do last for too long. Delude lasts for I think three times. I don't know when it ends. I think it's sorry. No, it's that's me. I'm sorry. I've, I've got a silly mind. 
Okay, great. Can I use the loot to make him more vulnerable to the music? Yes. Okay. Then it is probably an opposed thing. Was he okay? Yeah. Can, we, so, can we just kill him the music first, and then we can go at it? But I'm, I'm making him more vulnerable to the music. You're, right. you're, you're basically making him so it won't just sh shrug it off immediately. Yeah, Alright, so, come on, least, pals yeah, of the so, warp. That's the rubric marine. Where is Targaryen? You have to stop rolling as the rubric. <laughs> <laughs> well, holy... Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you got it. Uh, there's also a natural warp pass, so that's actually 13. Oh, Jesus. Well, okay, eleven. <laughs> oh god, dear. So eleven your is so broken. Well, I do believe he's going to do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, yeah. the balancing power of this is that I have literally never rolled at sort of the bound level. So every time I do this, after there's the a music, serious thing I mess the, up. After the music is over, he just fucking jumps out, says. Down with the false emperor! Oh, well, probably not that. But he is super enthusiastic. Yeah, no, he, he, he thinks this is. He, he's definitely down with this type of music. He is ready for you to bring this to his troops. Um, doesn't really see any issues with it at all. Which is oh, great. What possible issues could that be? It was made for the. It was made for the the common man of the Imperium. Mm-hmm. With them strictly in mind. Yeah. So yeah, he'll listen. He'll kind of. Yeah, and you can just kind of see it worming its way into him as he goes. Now keep in mind, this isn't actually the final master. This one doesn't actually have any of the mind control. Doesn't it? What the hell? This is all stuff in it. Oh. Isn't no, it? but I mean... it doesn't have any of the rest of the mind control shit in it. What it's rest of the mind control shit? You know, the back masking, the second track that's sub. I should Why probably put that on tell y'all about my ideas for this shit, shouldn't I? <laughs> You <laughs> should, yes. I, I think it sounds like the ideas have slightly gotten ahead of practice. But do tell. Basically, I was gonna have Carcer see if he can't, like, inject a bit of that delude into the music itself. Well, that's what I wanted to do earlier, but... Um, well, that's what we I mean, use. I thought that's what we use the demon engine for is that we make music warp. We, we basically use the well, the power of the warp on the oh, music. Oh yeah, but why not double up? Well, what, what we could do is uh, we're Double's saying bad when you're dealing uh, with the warp though. It's up to Gray, obviously. But what I could try to do is at the concert itself, I could like try to channel the stuff that's in the music, sort of, and amplify it to everybody that's there. With with the risk being that if I fuck it up, something really bad happens. And There's the, also the fact that that's just going to get us the people in the stadium, which admittedly is going to be a pretty big contingent of PDF. Yeah, I don't think there's any way of like making a song that converts everyone to chaos automatically. No, you need However, at least two albums for that. <laughs> However, that... what we can do is definitely get them a bit more open to our particular brand of worship. I mean, mm -hmm. here's the thing, though, right? If what we could do instead is there's going to be like other high rank people there, right? Because if this general is like recommending it, there'll be like maybe colonels and majors and maybe other generals there. Instead of trying to folk, instead of trying to sort of do the warp stuff at everybody, I instead focus it on like the officers' box. That sounds good. To to try to convert them more as well. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm up for that. Yeah, Deliberately man. not looking at any of the dozens of ways that could go wrong because it's Rot. psycho stuff. Rot. It's warp yeah, fuckery. Back, it's yes. warp fuckery. Of course, something terrible is going to go wrong. Eventually. 
but this one, the on in general, does this have like the same effect as our previous song, where uh, you know people can't stop listening to it? I mean, we hope so. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Are people still listening to our last song? Just yes, still? It's, it's yes. Still it's, only been, it's only been a couple of days, so yeah, it's still working. Oh, its way I, th- I thought it'd been like a week. Oh yeah, probably a week, but still, yeah, that's really still no no they're, time for it to be cracked cracked down on. They're going through a couple, of, uh, quite a few uh, DJs because each DJ goes, <laughs> "No, we must keep listening to it. Play it again." They, they've kind of, they've got it, There's the no time for ads. System. We have to play the song. Yeah, they've got through the easy susceptible DJs now, uh, and they're onto the kind of the ones who are they the like it, but DJs. they're not kind of like, fully in there. The DJs who who have who already bought ranks and jaded. <laughs> <laughs> ah, college, the smart ones then. So he's finished watching it. Yeah, he's finished watching it. He loves it. He's, you know, he wants you to do a performance. So you're gonna have to kind of do a charm with probably plus twenty now to try and convince him to turn this into something bigger. Oh yeah, this is uh, definitely great. Any way we sal- can get this on public access or maybe a pay-per-view slot? I'll let it ride. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm, pretty I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we can turn we this can't into... Keep this from the public? This is the greatest yeah. thing ever. We're going to have a full military day. Yeah, we're going to have oh, a PDF yeah. day. Make this a national holiday for the song. Planetary. Planetary holiday. Galactic plan. Yeah. Okay, so have a... That's going to be a bit more of a thing, so that's going to be like a million thirty. Probably a minus forty, actually, charm. Oh, I'm not him. interested in making it a holiday. Just uh, no, but... having a day, military day is great. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Did they already have some sort of holiday to respect the military? Probably not, but Imperium, I don't well, see being really? that big on holidays. Yeah, I suppose. There's yeah, that makes sense. a few Saints days, but, you know. He, this is going to be kind of like when you get off your twelve-hour shift, you can go home and like watch, you know, an amazing concert, and everyone will wear like the equivalent of poppies. But yeah, now he's up for that, and he'll get about organising that probably like two weeks to get it all, you know, properly okay. plumbed in. I've just learned something that I must share. Apparently, there's a planet in the Imperium that has a holiday that is called, and I shit you not, Grand Hoot Manny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I've always wanted to blow up a Hoot Manny. Well, maybe we can get it that way once we get the ship working again. Which is also possibly one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. The fuck is that? It's a Hoot Manny. Grand Hoot Manny. A rogue trader wants to mount one on his wall. Oh no, not again! <laughs> so considered by some to be a heretic best. Assassin's Which... Third Edition. Take the, the slaughter. Of course, it's in the Codex Assassins. Assassins. Market. Does a Codex Assassins? Yeah, they probably yeah it's for the tabletop game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, that's okay. Is, are there enough assassins to run an army? Uh, long story yes. short, no, Three. it was a terrible idea, but they made one anyway. I'm pretty well, sure these days they're sure. are part of the Inquisition Codex. Yeah, probably. That's how they've been for... The Inquisition is supposed to have enough troops to run an army? The thing is, it's, it's the not. Inquisition. They literally... They, literally they requisitioned it. some. You, the Imperial Guard Army, you work for me now. Well, yes. More or less. Anyway, I think that looks like a good time to wrap up for the week. Yeah, we can come back for another concert next time because no one's going anywhere for the next few weeks because of lockdown. Yeah, mm-hmm. true enough. Yep, true enough. I have had every can- holiday this year cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh every camp seven. holiday, right? All the holidays cancelled. Hey, look at it this way, Gray. You get to see less of your in-laws. 
There is that. <laughs> that's two of those that uh, you fall into that category. That is a benefit. Mm. Anyway, see everyone next time. Later. Next time. Yep.